Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm the best guy ever. Oh, who else wait, is here? We got... Wait, yeah. Wait, mm-hmm. is that... Is, Best guy ever, don't you mean don't you mean my favorite cryptocurrency miner, Brad sorry, Garlinghouse? Guys, the mask has slipped. My name is Brad Garlinghouse. I am the CEO of Ripple Cryptocurrency. <laughs> I've been fooling you all all this anime bullshit, all this video game bullshit. It's been a fucking ruse to pull you into my scheme to profit to like one percent of my vast capital gains. Uh, Fun- to, finally, to, you know, finally you've, you've decided to contribute something to society. Bitcoin. It all began 29 years ago when I snuck it to Ben Saint's mother's womb, who I knew would be a ripe candidate for manipulation and emotional destruction later on. This is a long con I've been running here. Uh, and as you can see, the fruits Bra- are bravo. ripe and abundant. Bravo, yeah. sir. We got, yeah, you can hear the grass. Tom Oliver, give and take, you know these yeah. guys. Yeah. The, the usual and suspects. New York Times best-selling author Digibro, Mm -hmm. creator Mm. of Road to Radcon 4, with chapter two, uh, hopefully coming soon, but that's on you guys. (laughs) Creator of Radcon 4, Road to Radcon 4, asterisk, assuming you give us lots of money on Kickstarter. Uh, But but if you do give us lots of money, you will see the thrilling continuation of the Mm -hmm. series in which Mm -hmm. we introduce our main antagonist. Who could it be? Who could be <laughs> on the mig- biggest obstacle to making Radcon Four happen? Okay, I, I, I don't. There's, I think well, we have I to think talk about a, this first before yeah. we get into all this. Yeah. There's a distinct yeah. possibility that this is not on the Procrastinators channel, and right. most of the people is, watching right. this have no idea what the hell is happening. It's very possible that this is on my channel. In which case, yeah. hello, my subscribers. This is the Procrastinators hello. podcast. Hello. It's been going on for like four fucking five years. How long have we been doing this four, shit? Five, like three, four, five years. Something like five, three, years. four, five, two, one. Yeah. Whenever Undertale years. came out. Eight, eight, twelve. You know, one uh, of these numbers. We've been doing this podcast <laughs> since Undertale came out. Oh, and that's fucking, true. Yeah. The yeah, best thing right. to happen to the internet since Undertale, the Procrastinators <laughs> podcast. That should be our tagline. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and yeah, and the stuff. reason that it might be on my channel is mm-hmm. that uh, Brad Garlinghouse, the yeah. evil crypto Himself. mastermind, has Personally. taken over the PCP channel. So... Uh, yep. In order and, to prevent and other channels as well, mm-hmm. many mm-hmm. channels. He has an empire yes. now. In order mm-hmm. to prevent uh, Radcon Four from becoming Bradcon Four, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> as per oh, his no. evil plan, so we must sad. continue the story. Uh, so give us money on Kickstarter. Yeah, and also we, thanks to everybody everyone. who already because this Kickstarter has already funded almost all the original stretch goals. Yeah, so. let's just let's just quickly take a look at that. We've got so last time there were 308 total backers uh, as of the whole time. There's already 156 backers, Wait, and it's we're 22 days you, ago. You said so there were three. You in. said there were 308. And now there's 156. No, at but last I'm saying Brad, that Brad on Con. Bradcon three, uh, there oh, were. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, okay. So uh, with 156 backers, we're already at ten thousand five hundred and seventy-three dollars. So we Bradcon four is happening. We've met our first and second stretch goals. So there will well, be a tiki uh, the, bar, the and the OVA will be made. The important note in all that data you just spouted yeah. was that with half the number of people, we yes, have achieved right. more money. So, mm-hmm. Correct. That's correct. So beautiful. really, the important question is, where the fuck are the rest of you guys, you goddamn right. slackers? Right. <laughs> There's another 150 of you out there, 152, just waiting to that give is, us money. That the, is uh, the uh, the 152 people who unsubscribe because of the politics discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hashtag, no. we are the 152 who would not give to Radcon 4. The proud. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, if you guys want, now that we've established that, so hey, go give it to Radcon 4. It's still happening. Don't worry about all this other bullshit. That's going to happen no matter what. I, I have a question uh, we have for to do Ben before channel. we continue about this oh, topic. Yeah, go ahead. Ben, Ben, no. Ben, is this... Yeah. Find your phone? No comment. <laughs> Did I find my phone? No, it's gone. Oh, no. okay. shit. Right. I lost yeah. my phone for a while, but I ended up finding it. Um, uh, mm. So so is this, is this the crypto fascist I keep hearing about? They're just going around <laughs> oh, and shilling right. cryptocurrency, yeah. stealing I mean, people's channels. One, I mean, I mean he's crypto because he's mining Bitcoin, yeah. and he's fascist because... Mm-hmm. Because he's a bad man, so he's yeah, I guess, I guess, that's what I thought. I I'm with you now. <laughs> I, I guess I take so. back everything. It, you're, I think you're this right. literally counts. Yeah, even I think this counts, right? Like it's certainly fascist to steal somebody's channel and without. You know, I think that's a little right? bit loose use of the word fascist. Like, like every annexing thief a fascist, like annexing another fascist? country. Uh, Garland House here has annexed our channels without our I permission. I mean, that's true. 
That is true. Fascism just means I don't like it. So yeah, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the most honest definition of fascism I've heard. <laughs> Finally, okay, okay. and Hold I on, definitely listen. do not care for what I'm seeing here right. today. According <laughs> according to Wikipedia, fascism <laughs> yeah. is a form of far right authoritarian ultra nationalism mm-hmm. characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suppression of opposition, mm-hmm. and strong regimentation of society and of the economy. These that guys sounds are, like my boy Brad. It sounds exactly <laughs> like what's happening. So. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't yeah. believe it. I can't believe it. He was hiding in right. plain sight. It's all the crypto along. punks versus the crypto fascists. Yes! The ultimate battle. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Oh, well, he, well, my, right. my only question is: Will Will Brad continue to mine once the sun goes down? Yeah. Like, like how how long how long will this how long will this continue? <laughs> I just don't know. I wish I had answers. I That'll be the questions. final insult where we're just going to have to bring out the big guns. You know, there's only mm-hmm. so much injustice we can take. Mm-hmm. The second the sun goes down, I'm tweeting about listen, this man. Listen, this listen, man Brad. is still mining and it's night. Listen, Brad, as one as one night miner to another, like, don't do it, mm. man. Don't do it. <laughs> the consequences, man. I, the I suffered the consequence. I want better for you, Brad. <laughs> Uh, well, you, you known, gotta re- known, you gotta re- known fascist sympathizer Ben Saint looking you gotta, out. Mm-hmm. You gotta respect the hustle, though. You got you gotta hand it to I, him. I do. You gotta hand I just it. remembered I do. the fucking like where don't yeah. mine at night came from. The fucking <laughs> the the the, fucking the, the pony, the song, pony the version originally. of the Minecraft parody of the Katy yes, Perry song right. that became yep. a meme at Radcon yes. Three. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. And that Ben is. got Ben got his ass kicked for mining at night during Radcon mm-hmm. Three. Yeah, yeah. God, it's such a rich yeah. tapestry. Yeah. Uh, this is what we should do on imagine, every episode. Imagine if you're just the normal, I mean, yeah. you're just the normal Digibro subscriber bombing into this video, not knowing what to expect, and already we're this this many layers deep into PCP yeah. lore. Yeah. They're gone. They're just gone. Well, this is why well, you need to watch Gradcon 4 when it comes out and donate to it to make it happen. Uh, yeah. You know, so you can understand. You and be should a part um, of the whole experience. If you're not, if you're not aware, you should watch the the Radcon 3. Uh, you should watch the Radcon 3 playlists. Yeah, and, sure. and, and all, yeah, and all your answers game. will be revealed. When are we going to mm-hmm, do mm-hmm. PCPU lecture PCP? Oh, eventually. That's actually yeah. a really good idea. <laughs> it's a really yeah. good idea. We can idea. start from the beginning and go through the whole history. I, think, yeah. I don't even... Yeah, give it a couple more rad. Is that going to be a stretch? Oh, guys, we make I that got a stretch I mean, goal? We, we did, we did you know the, that we, should be? We did the RFCK one at uh, right, R- right. RFCon K, and we did we mm-hmm. allowed, like, audience participation. I mean, we could do the same thing with PCP. Like, we could have, like, the audience, like, us, the audience, like, raise our hands. You know, and be I was like, thinking, hey, imagine, don't you remember that imagine, one time that this really stupid thing happened? Imagine if we had a meetup, and the meetup was for the PCP. PCP. That's exactly what I was going to say. I, we've we've long had this idea, at least I have, of doing like a like a public, more actual con where people can come and attend, even if it's public or something. I don't know. But then, uh, like at that, with a gathering of people, we we do that. I mean, I mean lecture that, at that, that point. was that was the yeah, the red that's or RFCK the, the RFCK and, lecture. Yeah. Basically, well, we'll steal their idea, which we'll was great, which was great by the way, and is coming soon. Stealing their ideas I, as I if it was it. easy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope it comes out before the Kickstarter ends, so people will be tricked into giving more money. I also, to I also hope that Con- uh, so, Con- okay. Connor, hope, Ethan, get we, on it. I hope that by Indeed. some, yeah, I hope that by some magical uh, fucking circumstance that the stealing your dad episodes from Radcon Three also come out before Radcon. Someone suggested 4 making yeah. that a stretch Ethan, goal for this <laughs> for this Kickstarter. They're almost we all no done. Control. Munchie said that two of them are complete. One of them is almost done. He just wants all three of them to be done before he releases them, and he <sighs> literally just doesn't I don't understand care why. enough to. What a fool. I have no he idea. He simply doesn't. They're, see, that means that it's up to you people to create his, pressure. His no, they did. Just they created. Them. I don't know if you know this. My man people on the from my Discord. People yeah. from my Discord formed a Discord specifically mm. to Badger <laughs> Munchie about this, and they did so. They ran a whole campaign, and he literally said what I just told you, and has still not done anything. So well, uh, that's not enough pressure. He obviously. just like, doesn't he care. He needs to feel the sting. He needs to feel the pain of not releasing these. What can we do, do to Munchie? Like <laughs> he's too powerful. You know, there's nothing. I don't know. He's got nothing I to don't lose. Know. I guess you're right. <laughs> I think I think the people have to from that Discord raid RFCK. Try to try to you know destroy his hometown. That's the only yeah, way that will get yeah. his attention. I mean, R- RFCK and S- stealing your dads. I like to think they exist in in the same universe at different yeah, timelines. Yeah. So like, it I see sense. I see no canonical conflict between like mm-hmm. a bunch of stealing your dad heads bomb in from the dystopian post slime future uh, <laughs> to say fuck you, 
do it. Maybe the, well, uh, the, the abandoned the disaster timeline. Well, Who knows? See, the Who most knows? unfortunate yeah, thing about it to me. Yeah, shenanigans now. Like, while mm. there may be extant episodes of Stealing Your Dads, they were merely podcasts. The only episodes that are, like, good are the ones that have not come out you yet. Know, so I don't know if there are Stealing Your Dad heads the way that there would be if the show was out. I mean, probably. Probably. Get when are we going to get there. the man and the boy? Oh. Oh, God. yeah. When are we going to get a GRPJ, Kingdom Hearts 2? Oh, oh, no. We're all getting called <laughs> yeah, that's out right, right now. That's right. I'm s- I'm not me. No. I'm such a good boy. I did all my projects. You we did. got T Bap Resurrection out. I got ten yep, paces and draw out. I, I did That's it all. True. I'm I'm thorough. Everything T everything PCP related I've gotten done. It's only my personal projects that are taking a little while. They're gonna uh, take a little while longer now. Those, that, so. <laughs> nobody ever yeah. Um, um okay, all right. Well let's let here. Let me let me break it down for people, just the story of what's going on. So everybody here's your little public service announcement. The following channels have been hacked. It definitely seems like it's my fault, and I'll tell everybody why in a minute, but these are the channels. My main best guy ever, which is currently renamed Brad Garlinghouse and is streaming <laughs> some <laughs> cryptocurrency stream that I have no control over Fucking and cannot... It's, the name of the video is Ripple XRP Goes to the Moon! Ex- explosion emoji. So, New cryptocurrency partnership and bullish news. Ra- 3,000 people are watching Red Redcon 5, cryptos on the moon. Why don't I pull these kind of numbers when I stream, either on my channel or on my fucking Twitch? God damn it! I'd be a partner right now, Brad. You maybe they're shit. maybe a lot of them are fake viewers though. That was my thought. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I think people are watching for the drama. They're like, "This is wrong. This is fucked up," which I totally understand. You, I would. I mean, it out this too. guy's got to be botting as well, right? I, no doubt. There's. It's not. By the way, okay, we're gonna laugh. Brad Garlinghouse, really funny. It is not actually Brad Garlinghouse. Just to be absolutely clear, Brad Garlinghouse like zero is like the CEO of some company. Uh, this Ripple, is an important yeah. man. It's like the, well, Elon so, Musk of crypto. It's not actually him. So yeah, I, I've been yeah. looking into it, and he he's a he's a very rich man who owns yeah. this Ripple company, which basically just moves money of various types around. Anything that can mm-hmm. be used as currency, basically, it is a a way of trading that uh, internationally. Uh, Apparently, they're under a huge yeah. lawsuit, um, and he's in trouble for skirting the law. That's why he's trying to pull a couple of side hustles, like capitalizing right. a couple of YouTube channels here and there. Just, you know, but grab them while you can. It, it seems to be common in the crypto world for <laughs> things like for hackers to take people's channels, live stream under names yeah. that are famous in the crypto world, such as this right. one. Um, but the actual people who took your channel, uh, you uh, can tell us about. Yeah, please do. Well, okay, you know, I'll, t- I'll tell you. Um, so there's uh, a couple interesting things that happened over the last couple of days. So I've been talking of two... So, okay, th- this seems to have happened on around the 22nd or the 23rd, I think on the 23rd. So just so everybody knows, I'm already in contact... Oh, by the way, all the channels, just so you know, all the yes. channels that, like, are not us. It is Best Guy Ever, Bestie Boy, Best Guy Ever Live Streams, The Procrastinators, The Podcast, T-Bap, Ugh. and Cantent. All of those Can't have it. been hijacked. Yesterday I went. Yes, hey, yeah. yesterday I went through TBAP and I ripped yeah. every video that I could, just in case the worst Good happens. Man. I could not get all of them. Some of them I could not rip because they contained music. Um, right. There right. were maybe like a dozen. Oh, of those. Ben, you gotta, you gotta use. <laughs> you can get them. You okay, just got to okay. use a sure, multitude sure a of YouTube rip sites. I recommend no, 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 switching no. between said this... Clip Converter okay. and uh, both... several others. I, I, I used Clip do. Converter to get the ones that I did manage this, to get. Okay, okay, what we, you got to do got, is uh, you have to use VLC. You can download YouTube videos okay, yeah. with VLC. That's true. That's true. Oh, no it's shit. It works 100% no of shit. the time. Mm-hmm. I, got, I need to remember to do that from now on. I got Phantom Reviews. I could not get Keg Reviews. Keg, oh, no, Keg that's reviews a gold put, mine. Keg Reviews putting your hoof down was, was copyright That claimed. needs to be preserved for all time. It has to be saved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's a beloved video by me, if no one else. Um, uh, so Okay, so those are all the channels. So, okay, so here's, here's what happened, everybody. Um, what happened was I recently have been looking a lot of people are like oh my god nate did you like not two-factor authenticate your channels lol did you use the same password no this is not the issue what happened was by the way we, we have checked there have been no suspicious logins from like i don't know china or russia or any on, of these uh, i don't know if you saw like my screenshot on tbap there was a suspicious login account from russia on january 1st january uh, 1st huh? january 1st yeah i screenshotted it Okay, I believe you. That must have just been before this. That must have been just an unrelated, I guess, separate hack thing. Uh, because be. here's what happened. <laughs> I've been talking. 
I don't know. Everybody wants to eBay. I've been uh, so lucrative. Yeah, just I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying maybe potentially like I do use a VPN. I don't think I've ever set myself to Russia. Like maybe I said to Russia and logged in. Th- I, I don't think so, but I don't know. Whatever. All right. So I was getting. Uh, I was th- recently. I'm doing like one last uh, uh, Weagawa before I like wrap up Weagawas for now, and are focusing on like the bigger content as ever as I've told a bunch of times. So, like, for that, I was like, okay, it would be really funny and also cool and thematically appropriate to finally get one ad on the last Weagawa for now. So, I, like, more aggressively was, like, looking through all the messages I get to see what ads are going to be. Some of them are legitimate, and I will still be talking to, but one of them... I should have known, man. I should have known. But here's what happened. There was just like one of those emails was like, hey, do you want to do this thing? We'll pay you to like promote this software. And so what I said was like, uh, I, I they, there was a link to a website. And l- let me actually go get the name of this. Because this is, I mean, at the very least, Public other people can avoid Nobody this. click this link that you're about no to No one click on this link of. from this company. And here's the fascinating thing. This website is extremely professional looking. And this is why I was tricked. I was like, it's supposed to be like a, a cloud software software like uh what's, what's that thing where you're like streaming gameplay between things this is like the general pitch they had their website looks really good uh and the whole thing was in english the email but i noticed that it, it seemed to be from like it was like russian text or something um so i was a little bit okay i, I don't know what this is about so i they just say like hey like download this software so i, I messaged them this one time and i'm like okay guys like i'm open to this if it's good can you like tell me what you need me to do if I'm gonna do this? They respond and they say, uh, download the software, show it off in a video, and like we'll pay you for it. So I'm like, okay, I will go see what this is about. So I, I'm looking into it and I, I, this is, I go to the website, everything seems fine. I'm just like, okay, I mean, I'm not going to agree to do this yet until I know what I'm getting myself into, but what I will do is just download the software and like see what it is, because that should be fine, right? Oh, no. And what I believe happened is that I I download the thing, I install it, and nothing seemed to happen on my computer. I I was like, this is weird. I I don't know what happened. Nothing changed. But then, several days later, every YouTube account that, like, I just am logged into, generally speaking, all the accounts on there had disappeared from my, my Google accounts. And they so they seem to have been, like, moved to other people's Google accounts. So what I think happened is that there's some bot in here that uses either like your Google, like uh, your cookies cache, or maybe like the fact that I'm currently logged in because there were no suspicious logins from anywhere else. It probably was done from like my machine that it just went in there. It like hijacked the fucking links to all these accounts. And this is something you can do on Google. You can just move your account to like another Google account uh, on your YouTube channel. So I think I think that was done like by at least some kind of intelligence because it wasn't done to my vast number of just like small little throwaway YouTube accounts I make for various purposes like test uploads and stuff. It was only like the big ones that are regularly used and have some value. So clearly, even though like BGE yeah. live streams probably has less than a thousand subs, right? Like it's got like fifteen hundred, but I do upload like twice a week and it gets okay. you know I don't know maybe like five hundred views per video. So that's not not zero. So I guess they thought that was above their threshold for whatever reason so uh but yeah but yeah that's that's pretty much the full story of like what i know and so i'll just tell everybody that i have contacted google for like on on, for all of these things for all these different accounts Uh, i've got like separate tickets running for each different account and like i seem to be in contact with humans for all of them and apparently they are working to sort it out and from what i've heard this isn't confirmed it takes, it, like, people have reported that when this has happened, because this is a fairly common thing, it happened to Pogo, apparently, famous music guy on YouTube and a bunch of other people, um, that, like, uh, it takes around two weeks before things get resolved, typically speaking. So you might not see any of these channels active for another two weeks. Hopefully after that they're back. Uh, I, that's what I know. I, I seem to see, the only thing that's really bad right now is that they're actively streaming on my personal YouTube channel on Best Guy Ever. And, you know, some people are unsubscribing, and, you know, that's that's too bad. I hope no one's being tricked into buying fucking crypto, which I is obviously bullshit. I highly doubt it. I don't even understand how... I don't know. Like, who the fuck would fall for this shit? Like, how does this even work? How does this racket even... Know. There was somebody in my Discord theorizing that, like, mm-hmm. maybe they literally just do this to, like, smear the name of Brad... Garling House or whatever, Maybe. but Maybe. I don't know. It feels like just some whoever it is though. What what gives me a little bit of happiness is that like knowing the mo 
if these people want to, they could tank and delete everything or just fuck up everything on all these channels if they so chose. But it seems like the MO is just to use them for whatever reach they have. And generally speaking, they seem to come back. And there seems to be a pretty healthy, like, reversal process when you get your shit back. Like, if videos are deleted within a certain time frame, YouTube can restore them. So even if, like, I, someone was telling me that, like, hey, Nate, it seems like the number of videos on your channel is dropping. That's ominous. Uh, I, I didn't look into it. But even if that's true, hopefully they'll be able to be revived. If not, I know a bunch of people are downloading videos, and including me. I've got most of the important ones stored, so... We'll we'll see. I guess we'll just well, see in time. Most if, of the uh, important ones. Happens. That's that's not that's not good enough. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I need I all of them. I, I don't have literally all of them. It's true, but I, I have all of like I have every best anime ever, best game ever, and like all the Weagawas, I think from the last several years. So I should have I don't know pretty much everything. We'll see. We'll see. So obviously it's not good. I can tell people don't be too worried if you're concerned. Uh, I'm generally pretty banner. optimistic. What? What's that? They changed your channel banner. They changed the banner. The, the banner. They yeah. changed the uh, the icon. Now it's they replaced my little I still icon see you. face. I still see your face, but I don't. Know uh, I refreshed it. And I see. Uh, I see Brad on here, but uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Also, all the affected channels have strings of uh, Russian text in the about page that seem yes, to be like those are first passages text. from Fight Club and or the Bible or something. <laughs> Just like edgy posts about uh, like it, like in the night we do dangerous things and in the morning we right. only regret. No, they, like, I mean once she or... searched them and they were from Fight Club, like literally. Oh, really? It's yeah. just quotes mm-hmm. from Fight Club. For some Maybe reason. they know I'm a big fan of Fight Club. <laughs> so that's... Uh, <laughs> just tossing you a bone here. You'd appreciate it. Anarchy in the UK, bro. Let's fuck them up. Anarchy. Yeah. Well, that's the status. Uh, hopefully, okay. things will be fixed soon. I don't know. I don't know. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, boy. Well, uh, if you don't want Radcon to become Bradcon, then <laughs> you got to <laughs> donate to the Kickstarter. Uh, 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 our lawyers advise us that donating to Radcon 4 will in no way save <laughs> Radcon from becoming Bradcon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I don't know, maybe some inevitable. people will think this is like, I mean, considering there is a Kickstarter with a good amount of money attached to it right now, I don't know if people might think, like, is this some sort of fucking publicity stuff? This is odd timing. I mean, there's it's, no doubt I mean, about it that. it was definitely, I was pretty upset just this morning, because, like, I scheduled yeah. my video to come out at 12. So, I know. And, of I course, know. it came out alongside this. It's not that, it's, it's not that I'm mad that it stole my thunder. It's that it's funnier than my fucking video. That's what makes me mad. <laughs> that is yeah. unfortunate. The Brad Garlinghouse name is funnier than this story <laughs> that I think is hilarious. But I yeah. am seeing a lot of Brad Garlinghouse comments on yeah. the uh, on the Digibro Light novel. It's all right, dude. You uh, just you just gotta lean into it. Like it's giving you the path forward. Yeah. That's right. We can capitalize on this. Uh, Brad, at least a Brad little Garlinghouse bit. We might as well is, laugh is, about it. He's definitely going to be in the Royal Rumble oh, at Rap Absolutely. Confort. He's he's clearly the main villain. Yeah. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, so, uh, you know, yep. pledge if you want to see that. I mean, we're probably going to definitely going to be doing it already, but Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. What's oh, going to happen to the I'm, sorry, I'm restarting my phone. Our ship's oh, well, going to get sunk. Our, our ship is currently sinking. We're bailing out the water. You know, Hippo and BGE Boy are, are currently bailing things as fast as they can. Uh, hopefully we stay afloat. I mean, I'll, th- there is a possibility that some or all of these channels don't come back. But, like, even if that happens, we're just going to make new ones and, like, re-upload as much as we can and just keep going. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully that I won't mean, be too the bad. Thing, the thing that sucks, not so much, like, if that's the case, you know, if they, you can't yeah. get them back... The worst thing is not that we can't have them back, but they still have them. That, they, yeah, I mean, yeah. They still yeah, have your a... channel. Like, everything that links to your channel will now link to Brad Garlinghouse. I have some fear that, like, I mean, just considering the legality, it seems to me that this, I, I don't know this for sure, but it seems to me the most, most likely thing is that this was done, like, via, like, my personal logins. That, like, Google will be like, sorry, Nate, like, sure, you you can prove you're you, but, like, this was done on your account. We can't prove you didn't do this. We don't have the authority I mean, to just if, give if them back. if they were to say that, that would be the most fucking, like, pretending to be ignorant thing I've ever heard. Like, I, no. I mean, I'd hope so. Well, I would hope so. Even if it's from your account, it's not like you can't take up it back if it was, like, a mistake. Like, oh, I accidentally did this. Can you please undo this? 
Like Google can't say no because right. that's that's just stupid. But I'm just thinking like, what about respecting the rights of, in this case, like they're a criminal clearly, but like the other person. Well, well hold like, on. If you yeah. if they believe the claim that you yeah. accidentally moved it to this other thing, how would it be res- like that? Would mean that this is like two different. This is one person basically. How would it be res- dis- disrespecting that channel's rights? Like like either way, you're the original. Your, well, what if your account is linked to the channel? The, the hypothetical the, the I fear it. slightly is like, what if I had under the table made an agreement to like sell my account to these people, which I totally didn't do to sell my account to Brad Garlinghouse uh, stuff's wallet full of money that I did in fact do the thing I'm saying with. Uh, what if I had sold it to them and they're like, well, I mean, you know, that's your business if your account got, we, we, we don't have the authority to just take it from it seems, mean, but I've, seems unlikely. I know. I I'm just know. thinking seems about how worried, my uh, my yeah. one of my friends one time sold a World of Warcraft account to somebody mm-hmm. for four hundred dollars, and uh, that person then used it to like um, like just farm gold or whatever. Like he turned it into a bot and okay. got caught by Blizzard, and they returned the account to my friend. Like <laughs> he just got to keep the money. Nice. So you know. Sometimes well, things how go nice. extra good. <laughs> Dude, when you, when you get the channel back, it's going to come with so much cryptocurrency. Oh, that would be... There's going to be well, so know, much. <laughs> that happened I've, to this my World quite... of Warcraft account, actually. Some, a oh, yeah? bot stole it, and then when I, came, when I got back, I just had so much vast wealth in the game. I was a god. <laughs> That's awesome. They just helped I... me out. <laughs> you know, thinking back on it now, my... Actually, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Thinking back, I remember my League of Legends account. Th- I think this is one of the main reasons I stopped playing. Or no, I think I, I didn't play for a long time. In that lapse, like I noticed that it, I couldn't get back in. It seemed like it had been stolen or something had happened with it. And I could, yeah, I definitely had been stolen. I couldn't get into it. And I like, there was some, I had some efforts like, oh, maybe I'll like try to get in and like help my friends. But then I was like, oh wait, it's League of Legends. I'm not going to put in the effort to mm. like get back in there just to, you know, lose more money and stuff. Uh, so thank you, hackers. You saved me on the one hand, you hurt me on the other. <laughs> all in all, that's what I call balance. That's balance. By the way, um, I'm, ger- I'm getting the name of the company. Uh, okay, got it. So this is the email I got. It's just, it's this company, Vontex, V-O-N-T-E-X. That's the one who messaged me. Guys, just a little recommendation. I would not accept a deal from Vontex promo uh, if you get an email from them. They're, uh, they're, I, I don't mean to dispur- dispur- dis- besmirch the good name of the Vontex Corporation, but uh, yes, what I do. The, that is but the entire they point. Are, they are literally the real crypto. <laughs> may, I mean, maybe it's like a Brad Garlinghouse thing where like uh, they're just using a different name to fuck with people. I mean, I don't know. I mean, probably not. And the other thing is, I tr- one of the things I did early on before I installed the software was I was just like, oh, well, I'll just Google these guys and like see what they are, just like what the product is. Like there was like zero results on the internet for Vontex. That, like, that's what a red maybe flag. should have been so I should have known. That, uh, known. <laughs> that you should have done that. Look, okay, it's that's why just I, was, like, I was thinking name, to myself, like, I'm being such a big-brained ethical boy right now. Like, I am absolutely not going to agree to just take these people's money until I know it's like a product yeah. and I'm willing to use it, blah, blah, blah. But I will just try out the software. That couldn't hurt, right? Little did you well, know. That's all little they Little did I know. You. Yep, that's correct. That's correct. And More like soft now. skull. He, um, <laughs> that you got on you there. As opposed to what? You know, like a soft spot on your skull, because you're like a baby. Oh, well, yeah, but it sounded like you were saying soft skull, like that was a, a play on something I'd said previously. Yeah, like the software. Oh, right. Yeah, yes. See? Okay, all right. Yeah, no. there <laughs> got, you go. it. got it. Uh, well, yeah, I have a small brain and a soft brain. These are <laughs> both confirmed at this point. <laughs> very so. soft. And, you know, uh, here's very the Very smooth. Thing. Very, very, very smooth. No wrinkles here. My, uh, my, so my computer is definitely still compromised and very likely still has this operating. So I'm spending the vast majority of time unplugged from the internet on that machine because I, I need to wipe it. As Tom advised, I need to just completely destroy the computer and rebuild it software from the ground up, which I will do. Um, but I'm in the middle of editing something and I am terrified of rebooting it and not being able to like make all the weird connections you know how if people use vegas like you pull files from all over your computer i've got things like a download folder and like a, See, a like a an Nate, editing folder the and the reason i don't have that problem is that yeah. anything i'm working on i keep exclusively on the desktop and it's well, a that's fair. it's a great <laughs> motivator because i hate having shit on my desktop so sure, I will sure. literally edit the video just to get the fucking shit off my desktop but what happens when your editing project is 6 months long though 
Just well, by virtue of the product. That has happened, and it's miserable. It fucking okay, all right. sucks. They too much <laughs> shit on my desktop. Well, I mean, so I'm hoping to have that video done, the one I'm working on soon, and it'll be ready to go. This this much discussed Nate's working on a video for the end of the month or whatever. Uh, I mean, there's been some derailings e- even before this Radcon four really took up a good chunk of time. Uh, but like, I-, I might have it ready real quick. Uh, I'm just I just won't have a place to upload it until I have the channel back, and I'm I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna give it like a couple weeks to see if the channel returns at all before I like make best guy ever Redux or whatever the fuck you know thing I have yeah. to. Do to keep moving. So. Second best guy ever. Secondest bestest guy in the world will be the second channel. I'm looking forward to it. Well, if you need to, I can temporarily host it on my channel too. Just um, have everybody okay. shit. I've done. I, I did that the, with uh, the offer. I did that with one of Jesse's videos once. There was a a, a Ground yeah. Zeroes vlog he did. That's on my. That's mm. on After Dark. It never got re-uploaded anywhere else. It's just on After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must have been years ago. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ground Zeroes. So. In in other news, yeah, I, today right. I got television for the first what? time in years. What? Television? Why? What's to that? My house. Did you watch Big Bang Theory? Excuse me. Because it turned. I I found out that these days, you know, good old uh, like not satellite, but um, cable. No, not cable. Antenna. Money Antenna TV. Yeah, yeah. Good old. Well. They ain't no bunny ears no more. The technology has come a long way. Okay. And right. so I just, like, 25 bucks on Amazon bought this big flat thing that you put in your window, and I've got 50 channels. So why the fuck would I ever need cable? Um, okay. <laughs> it's pretty sick. I'm just saying. It's it's funny to me to think, like, you know, TV kept advancing and getting crazier, and it's like cable, and now you need a 1,000 million channels, and now you need all this extra shit. And uh, then the internet came along, and I was like, I don't need cable. What the fuck yep. would I need it for? Well, the answer to that is the Olympics uh, or just like I don't CNN's know. CNN's ha- cool coverage. A- occasionally the throwing trial, something perhaps. on. Uh, PBS the, the, Frontline The Democratic debates, which maybe. are not live oh, yeah. streamed or shown <laughs> anywhere for some reason. No, the Dem debates are all live streamed. I haven't seen I them, them anywhere. Yeah. Streamed. Like, are they, are they're the on repl- CNN. They are I don't know. I'm sure they're around. Yeah. Oh, what about the replays, streamed... though? They don't have any replays for people like me who like, don't watch them live, right? Yeah. right? No, I don't Just know about replays. Just watch your favorite alt-right commenter's review of the oh, Democrat. How, how do you think, how do you think I'm informed you. nowadays? <laughs> Nate, Nate, that, that is unironically the better way to watch it because... I mean, like, it is. they cut out the filler, so I mean, you know... It's, oh, it's, I didn't mean that. I mean, all killer. There's, there's, a <laughs> bunch of, there's a bunch of people who just live stream their, like, live reacting to the debate while it's happening, so... Which that could is be better. That sounds definitely better. The debates are fucking miserable. They're boring as shit. They're terrible. They're fucking. They're just. Miserable. I mean, what 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 are they on? Like five or six? I, I'm just saying. Like I'm sure they've they're all been insistent with the shit. Yeah, there's like five now. I think I think the last one was yeah. the final one before the caucuses start. Uh, on average, right. which one is like thing week, happens huh? in three uh, hours, and you'll hear weeks, about I it. Think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You'll you'll you hear the. the 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 only story from the last one was the thing with Warren and Sanders, the and, and it was, was all over Twitter. Twitter. Literally yeah. all that fucking happened. It was so boring and terrible. That's true. I mean, we know their positions. Now it's about whatever fucking clash is happening. Yeah. I guess. Well, hey, speaking of TV, do you have Cartoon Network on there? Because the one I the one thing I kind of so. want to watch sometimes is like Toonami slash Adult Swim. I'm like, yeah. ooh, that'd be fun I, it, to it just turn have been, on. It would have been nice to have, but I think that's on cable. Okay. Yeah, fair um, I don't enough. I think we get that. We get some kind of food channels. I, don't, I literally just hooked this up like right before we started the podcast, so I have not oh, okay. explored it at all. Um, I just bought a TV for the bedroom and uh, and, a, and an antenna. But you know, I remember trying to watch Rick and Morty, uh, like when we were, you know, last time we did, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the the six Ricksy minutes or whatever. And it like they, it's so fucking weird. On like the Adult Swim website, they're like streaming here. Like click here to watch the new Rick and Morty episode. And then they're like dot dot dot. If you have Hulu yeah. or fucking yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's like, what the, why would you lead with, just lead with, I need Hulu to watch it or whatever they the fuck want you other to be like, well, I guess I'll just things. get fucking cable right now. I guess you got me. Yeah. I guess there I must get be it, people but, dumb uh, enough you know. to do that. Otherwise, why would they still be doing that? If I really need to watch, you know, Rick and Morty right then and there on there, uh, I, I, you know, maybe I, maybe every I time they put up it, these but... weird roadblocks, I'm like, I'm just saying on the high seas, fuck you. Right. Yep. I mean, I'm yep, I'm yep. a did. thousand percent more into piracy than anything else. But and I, because uh, I didn't really miss TV at all. 
Um, mm-hmm. And I still really don't. But it's it's like the idea that if I really have nothing to do, there is a room I can go into and just put something on, and it will put it will put flashing lights and information in front of me without me having to decide what to put on. Yes, because I spend a, nice a lot of time <laughs> like uh, YouTube. Unfortunately, not enough fucking shit comes out. Like I'm mm-hmm. always starved for more YouTube content, and I'll sit there like we'll g- maybe like May just cooked dinner. We've got all this beautiful food laid out in front of me on this TV tray, and I'm just sitting there for 15 minutes trying to find something to watch while I eat because there's nothing on YouTube. Um, so in situations like that, it might be nice to just. I mean, granted, I put the TV yeah, in the bedroom, I- but. Mm-hmm. I I do like sometimes uh, putting on like the BBC News channel when I'm just like waking up making breakfast Big or something. Black cock. News yeah, yeah, because nice. I I just love seeing that on screen <laughs> like a huge. Uh, anyway, um, but like they, they they just do the news and it's so boring and so like in the background. Occasionally I hear about like oh something's happening. I'm like oh cool. I'm just drinking my coffee and waking up. It's a nice little, like, noise box, I guess. It is aesthetically pleasing I, to kind of be passively informed about what's going on in the world, even if, you know, uh, mainstream news, uh, maybe they got some issues here I mean, I'm, there, I'm know, passively but, informed yeah. of what's going on in the news every day anyways because I watch We Are Change on YouTube, mm-hmm. and I trust mm-hmm. that more than any of the other news outlets. But uh, I, I guess the revelation, I would say, is simply that cable is obviously not worth paying for because you have to pay for it every month. But an antenna is just $25 and you have those channels forever. So, uh, that's true. why not? That's it's all really I have to say on the matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got uh, some news. I've got Oh, a, I know I've what it a, is and I'm a big fan. It's it's the Lord of Ghosts comic chapter oh, 2 yes. is out. I haven't I haven't read it yet, but it's You're on my wasting short your to life, do, Ben. My short it's way to-do better list. than the it's Vapors on... has ever or will ever be. The <laughs> it's champion? on my short, Shit. short list. Damn. Uh, that pony fucking comic about slime, Garbaggio. <laughs> no. Put it in the trash where it belongs. Come it's on. all about the yeah. new hot. Come go. on. <laughs> it's, it's readable on giveandtake.site, and uh, it's it's really... I'm, I'm really proud of what I've been doing. Oh. Yeah, but I have to ask. Uh, that one shot of the clock tower, that was like home stuck, right? You didn't actually draw that whole thing, did you? Uh, you know what I'm talking I, about? I copy pasted a few places, but yeah, I kind of drew the whole thing. You, oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't sure. I, okay. There's it, some it was weird. It was there. like I was drawing it. Like, I mean, it's traced, so it's not like. Right. Okay. You know. Okay. Um, like, full disclosure. This man the, is a hack. Be, be advised. But like, <laughs> I was sort of discovering that I guess I just like the act of drawing because this is really inefficient and not even that useful. Like it's it's mm-hmm. like a big like wow moment, but it's also kind of pointless, and you wouldn't need to do that really. And I did it That's anyway, true. and it took a long time, but I just liked it. I just liked well, drawing. I loved that little moment where you flash between like that, and then the next panel of the like almost chibified like big eye of the tower. I mean, that was like my favorite moment. And incidentally, the whole comic is probably the most attractive looking thing you've ever drawn. Up to this point, and I've Thank absolutely I, like it. Feels like a huge jump in your skill. Just like I, I, I don't know if I thought that about chapter one, but with chapter two, I really stopped and like felt it out, and really, really enjoyed reading it. Yeah, it's oh, gotta read it. Gotta it's, read it. Can, it's can I like, read it. can I understand this comic if I don't know anything about? <laughs> yes, Digi. Yes, you can. Ghosts. I promise. There, there. Yes, um, I've I've written the entire thing to be its own adventure, and you don't need to know anything about RCK. Uh, there is like a little bit of backstory to catch you up on the basics of Endless War, but the Lord of Ghosts himself mm-hmm. travels to a different place and and is doing other adventures. Did you, you will love the the literal embodiment of cluster fuck that is the Lord of Ghosts. If just one look at his misshapen, freakish body, and you'll be like, "This is me. This is me." If I was a little monster, he's <laughs> uh, pretty relatable. Nate, what did you think of my artwork for the Road to Radcon Four? I was frankly way into it. It was great. <laughs> it was Thank kind you. of exactly what I hoped for uh, from a from a digi. And frankly, it seemed like. I, I'm I'm feeling some some experimentations. You're trying some new things. It feels like yeah, new overall things like dropping it. piss on my face. Yes, yes, Very it was wonderful. <laughs> um, um, hippo, what you got to do? I mean, I know. Okay, I know you've you've made you made or or sorry. Um, look, pa- pass this on to Gun Girl because I know Gun Girl mm. is a zinester. <laughs> 
and uh, oh, is the yes. author of the best-selling zine in one of the best-selling <laughs> zines in New Los Angeles City, The Gamer and the Bear. Um, <laughs> yes. So, so you know about zines. I've I have been converting I'm the zine sl- scene. I have been converting slime and punishment into a uh, in-game zine form, uh, and the first the first seven nice. issues of Slime and Punishment are available in Endless War uh, as zines that you can purchase with slime. Uh, wow. If if you uh, <laughs> if if that's your pleasure, I'm gonna get yeah. around to finishing it up soon. Um, Why don't we? Everything should be a zine. Do Why don't we <laughs> have <laughs> a PCP zine already? Like a real yeah, life the effort it would take a to real make zine. it, I guess. Because I'm already I already want I've been planning to make my own zine um, for a while, but I would have to be the only contributor to it. And that doesn't. Um, it just wouldn't be as cool. Well, how would well, we well, add a, I mean, I'm well, into the idea. I would. I would actually love a to to contribute to a zine. But how yeah. would we distribute it? Uh, wait, I've got an idea, and it's. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe Twitter. But like, we, you know, remember that website that we had a guy in his free time working on, which was absolutely beautiful and was like 95 percent done. We just kind. I mean, I just stopped responding just because I was busy and I never get back to him. Oh, I forget no. his name right now. But like that could be a pretty good vehicle. Click on the side Wait, for the latest I, zine okay. edition. A zine like, what would it consist of? Well, is it like a news magazine or is it just my, like comics? My uh, the one I want to make uh is called Clusterpunk, and it would be just all quarterly. kinds of shit. But like uh, what the the number one article I want to write for it is my Clusterpunk fashion show article, mm. like or the like the current line, you know, like. Just photos of me wearing uh, cool outfits, basically. But right, you know, um, I don't know yet. I just have always wanted to make a magazine. So, seem and I was my plan was just to fund it through you know uh, the same way Ben did his comic. Uh oh, and just do like, I mean, to me, the the spirit of a zine is you go to like your fucking your fucking mom's office mm-hmm. to print it out on 8 by 11 you fold it in <laughs> half you staple it you put boxes of them in like just stores or like on city corners or whatever uh <laughs> if i made a zine that's how that's, i would do that's it. I would how just I, put it you know it's funny you say that ben that is what i was planning to do back in 2012 i had this one <laughs> i did called the virginia beach hermit society that right, was right. incomplete I uh, but the plan was to just print them out and just like leave them at Barnes and Noble and stuff. But uh, the thing about that is it won't work and nobody will give a shit. So I'd rather just do oh, it yeah. through a, a means by which people will actually want one. Um, oh, sense. sure, makes sense. But I, I do like agree. the idea. I like the idea of like all of us collaborating parts to a zine. Um, some of us doing art. Like, imagine if Jesse wrote articles; would it'd be incredible. I mean, it would be great. He could get like <laughs> he you could know, literally write anything, and it would be publishable yeah fucking, that's true like like but like organization and and all that has always been a, an issue especially yeah. when there's no money involved at least initially yeah, we need the money first then we will our effort will follow <laughs> generally well we can worry I, about I, that I like later the... we got radcon 4 to worry about right now but uh maybe that's we can discuss true. the possibilities of a zine at radcon 4 if we reach no. 20k guys we will start talking about a zine stretch goal at 30k <laughs> so let's get it going yeah i wonder uh, you have my word I wonder how far uh, how far we could push one Kickstarter just by adding new stretch goals onto it. I mean, it depends on how good. Like, if it's something that like is really good and pertains to like a large audience, like right. a, a documentary on the fucking I mean, frankly, Shanghai like, Seven, the most no at, dangerous point, samurai it, bunch. I don't fucking know. At some point, it I would just made be that like, up. why not make just another Kickstarter for that other thing? But like, no, yeah. <laughs> no. <Never. laughs> I, I, <laughs> Why do that when you can do this? Capitalize yeah. off the the hype. I don't fucking know. Twenty twenty uh, k is gonna take some doing. I think it really is. Um, I mean, okay. Let's just while we're, we're on the really subject, putting the let's stretch and stretch goal on this one. It, it it. I mean, I don't think it's impossible, but obviously the math isn't gonna mm. work out this this perfectly. But we're at we're over ten k, and we're at half of the previous donators. Do yeah. a little math. If they all donate, surely that will yeah. bring us up to. I mean, it'll granted, definitely bring granted, us close. Granted, I don't know literally about all the way. a fifth of what we've made so far is from two people. Correct. That is correct. So. That is correct. Our two thousand dollar donors. So, but we uh, did have a thousand dollar donor last time, so you really have to subtract one thousand from that to get like parity from last time. That's true. That that's true. That's true. We do, we need um, to find more exchange students. I know. We gotta we gotta pull them in. We gotta I have mean, a better I mean, outreach I, program. We gotta I'm reach a, out to the inner city. Uh, my you know, my go thinking abroad. is my thinking is that probably the people that made it like succeed instantly 
like mm. are a lot of like the people that donated last time. I think that probably yeah, yeah. a lot of the people that are really invested knew about it immediately, donated mm. immediately. So I think that we will probably get more. I mean, if we didn't do anything else, we would probably get yeah. like more donors than the first time, but probably the mm-hmm. remainder of them would be smaller donors than we've had thus far. I so think that's I think, correct. So yeah. I think that like yeah, we would need we'll need to have we'll need to have more donors because mm-hmm. we'll we'll need to reach new donors uh to 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 actually double the number of of donate even if we double even if we do hit the 308 that's why reaching out to Digi's audience with the with the book is a is a good gesture and hopefully we I can hope so. you know get some I hope, get some I, I hope I got uh, got to talk about it at the end of any other videos we do too just just bring it just got a campaign my, for it cuz uh, my yeah, I, I that's ready I to go like, had a mention about the but... kickstarter at all i've been meaning to um yeah, so I, I, I'll I'll do, I'll do my part. Mm. I, I'm doing my part. Good. Are you good? Good. Starship Troopers. I'm extremely Are you curious viewer? about what will happen when the end of the month comes around and people get their paychecks, uh, mm. as well as you know, there's always spikes in the last few days when people are. I like, know for I a fact. Push to the next yeah, goal, the, fi- so. the final push is. is I know for a fact that some of the most excited people are like waiting for payday because they want like the higher tiers, and so they're just. Um, yeah. They're I mean, I mean, you can uh, you can donate and then up your pledge later. That's true. Nothing against yeah, that. You Nothing can like uh, kick, you can you can if you donate like. If you have ten to chip in now, and you do that, and then you get paid, and you're like, "Hmm, money in my pocket. Better throw it out. To, better throw it at the PCP. You can go in and, be, and up your pledge, and it's it's choose a new tier and everything." Oh, and I got to go update the whole uh, the stretch goal section with the new uh, the new digit tiers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, we'll do that after the after the episode anyway. Uh, all how, right. Well, how, I mean, how long you know. is the PCP uh, light novel going to be? Like page count. It depends. I mean, because I I kept the first chapter True. short just because it's free. And uh, it's easily digestible, you know. and it's a nice, right. uh, I don't know, start of the journey. So I, but I, I, I definitely think. I mean, the second chapter already will have to be considerably longer. But uh, just think mm. of it this way: uh, every chapter will be multiplying the number of characters. So That's just true. the sheer amount of time it takes to even have one interaction will naturally lengthen the chapters by way of how many characters are involved. So mm. I want to be written about. So get that to the. When am I? Coming in like the last one or near the I last one. I think you're the third. You're the You'll third. Be in the batch. Third Next is Ben and I, What's, I believe. A, a, a weird, weird number, chapter two. I believe so. Yeah, I mean, not oh, not nice. not to spoil too much, but like, hmm. yeah, the idea is generally that the first three chapters each introduce two people, and then the last two chapters will be the uh, the you know the Dramatic actual climax. attempt to <laughs> get our shit together. Right. Right. So. It's I'm an epic journey. I, I, I kind of like, I was out with a Munchie yesterday, and he was just sort of offhandedly mentioned that we were talking about new stretch goals. Mm-hmm. And so I just, I come home and I, I just find this whole, uh, this whole uh, 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 light novel scheme just oh, kind yeah. of like fully formed and already in, in action. And I'm just <laughs> like, well, uh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's happening too. That's what happens I mean, when you're off the grid, I suppose. I, it's yeah. true. Yeah, out with no phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, God, it's barely even being alive at that point. Man, uh, I'm not sure. I might not be able to stream without my phone because my, my Twitch account is like two-factor authenticated. Um, uh, you should just like contact them and like try to tell them that. That's got to that's gotta be a thing that happens. Uh, yeah. You should uh, take a little hmm. – go to get in there. I bet they can they can help you out somehow. I, I think there's ways to simulate – phone apps on your desktop but i'm not sure that would work for hmm. twitch authentication um yeah i don't know i don't i, I i'll i'll figure it out tonight i guess are you yep. using like <laughs> Man, or are you using losing like your phone fucking message? losing your phone fucking sucks ass it sure yeah. does it sure does i uh, i bet it was brad i bet brad stole fucking it. Yeah. brad oh my I, god when, Garling when i when i when i saw that the accounts had been hacked my first thought was somebody found my phone and got into the pcp account uh, through it every, we know that it everybody can't be thought the case. yeah Everybody yeah. thought the death of the PCP was going to be like our content going downhill or yeah. all of us fighting mm-hmm. each other and hating each other. But no, it's yeah. just losing Scandals. access to all our fucking channels. No, it's just, just Russian hackers. Yeah. And all in one fell, it's just, it's because like I'm just logged in to these accounts. I mean, you don't think that just being just logged in is going to put you in danger, but. Uh, it seems like it's a pretty sophisticated uh, program. 
this was definitely very sophisticated. So I, I mean, never I did not download it anything. Like this. Don't don't download more RAM, guys. Do not do it. It's not good. Oh, by the way, Ben, I forgot. I, right in front of me, I have your package with your precious vape juice that I need to <laughs> ship out. How could you have not sent? How, I know I'm we've got a lot on our, on our minds Nate, lately, but frankly, I'm disgusted that you okay, tell you what. Sent it as to me. Oh, wait, I, cr- I crave the juice. I will check if the mail is closed. If it is open, I will go immediately after we're done recording and go send it. If I, not, I cra- I'll do I it I crave the flav. I, ors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I indeed, indeed, I understand. Uh, this is this I is don't. Dude, if, if this is a uh, because. Of like weird draconian laws put in place about like certain kinds that you used to be. Have I explained this already? I don't want to be redundant, but like uh, this, I think in general, but these are these are understand. these are vape juices that they will no longer sell in Massachusetts. They won't, so I had to ha- so I had to order them to send them to you so you could send them to me yep, because like vendors state, are fucking are handcuffed. Dude, now. I don't know if you guys have seen this on YouTube. I'm pretty sure in a, several places I've seen ads. I, I and I think I was just listening, so I wasn't watching. But like I've heard the like. Um, they're trying to get kids addicted to flavored vape. You wouldn't buy a flavored cigarette, would you? Say no to vape. It's what? untested and dangerous. What? Who wouldn't on buy YouTube, a flavored I've seen cigarette? Ads of this like, shit. what the fuck are they talking At, about? I know, I know, Something like, like, that. like, like um, some of the, some of the people that came to, like, uh, RFCK Con, like, smoke mm. and or vape, and, like, I've talked, and, and elsewhere, too, I've talked to a bunch of people that are like, yeah, you know, I was vaping, but now I can't get them, so I'm smoking again. And Yay! Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, we did, did it happen. Congratulations. You, you did, did it. It's almost guys. like this oh, was uh, the tobacco industry's plan the whole time. It's almost yeah. like, oh my God. The, yeah. I hmm, mean, a hundred really percent. makes you think. Okay, a question Surely the for tobacco an company man. would have, like, got in, tried to, like, worm and well, weasel their way into the thing this is, new though, thing. I was going to yeah, ask. That's what I've heard is that well, they probably the want to tobacco destroy companies the old... do yeah. own a lot of the vaping companies, though. So Look, They must know. I mean, but they're going sure, after like, Juul, China. They smoke, like, like chimneys. And... Right? Isn't Juul the one suffering the most from this? I mean, it's the biggest company, so I would yeah, assume. Yeah, so, it, so like, they're just trying to get their biggest competition out of the way. And then the like they don't care. Jump They're making the, money from cigarettes probably, anyways. That's true. They'll probably get into the market as soon as like Jewel is obliterated. That, they, I was going to say buy, once they can buy it out. At least in the American market. I mean, I know they're putting all these regulations so that vapes are going to be in like the same category and you can't do them and stuff. But like cigarettes are like they're falling off a cliff in terms of usage like nationwide, as right, I understand it. And I know in like acro- abroad, vaping was like, hey, what if still. like smoking didn't have to be a miserable experience that you just got your nicotine and then the rest was just kind of like m- mediocre, just to like unpleasant. a cool like, cloud for, from your mouth. What it's like, worth, like, I, yeah. I enjoy smoking cigarettes a lot more than vaping, but well, um, well, I'm not I speaking mean, to any individual's experience. It's not exactly the same. I understand they have a, they have a slightly different appeal. That being said, when mm. I had when I had access to vape. I had I had completely quit smoking, right? And I like after I hadn't smoked for a while, I was like, "Ugh, cigarettes, disgusting, gross." Are you, are you still of that opinion? Um, no, I'm back. I'm back on the analogs, and I oh, hate. Oh no! I hate you see it. what you've done, vapes. You see. Thanks, what you've Charlie done. Baker. What a um, man! What type are you smoking now? Um, I don't know, like Marlboro NXTs or Camel Crush or whatever the menthol Type shit. Two. Magnum uh, extra large. Just like, just like, a, just like a few, just like a few. I'm not like, n- never been like a pack a day smoker or anything. Oh boy! But I want to. I want it to end. Just I don't, call our I mother like and it. tell her you're stepping into your fucking grave, Ben. It's just filthy, tell her with it's your a filthy own habit. two words. It's a, it's a filthy habit, especially for a star athlete. That's that's true. No doubt about it. How are you ever gonna hit your 600 pound squat like this, Ben? How? <laughs> tell I'm me not. how. Um, it's it's not gonna happen. Oh, it's all it's all the thanks. Dreams. It's all thanks to big to back. Six hundred pound. <laughs> it's doable. Uh, it's doable. That's a that's a reasonable goal. Like Re- reasonable. Uh, okay, maybe five hundred. I mean, I personally spotted a guy in high school who was squatting five hundred pounds, yeah, and it was, was totally he, was sick. He, but was was he going parallel? I can't remember. I was too aroused by his <laughs> rippling muscles. You know, I was distracted. So. If he went Hashtag full parallel, that would gay. be an impressive, sh- surely an impressive squad. I mean, he looked like the kind of man I want to look like. So honestly, mm. that's the only reason I work out. I only work out a, for aesthetics for no other reason. A high school boy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> for the record, I was younger than him at the time. Uh, sure. To be clear about <laughs> what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. He was my I, senpai. So there I, there I was, 28 years old, squatting teens in the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my local, spotting them at the gym. You know, I mean, if they're squatting just my, just my usual haunt. If they're doing a cool 500, I mean, actually, you know, they're they're clearly able they know, to they consent. know something. They know yeah. something. Actually, Nate, aren't you uh you're are you yeah. 30 yet? 
I'm 29 still. I'm, okay. I'm creeping up there. I'm creeping up there. For some reason, I Hell thought yeah, you were bro. More I'm gonna be dead. That, it's but. it's depressing. <laughs> it's very depressing. Lol, lamau. It's coming yeah. for all dab, of you, dab, you dab. <laughs> There's just no hope for this world. No. I've basically given up on uh, like technology progressing to me being immortal. So I'm I'm slowly accepting that it's death fine. Is gonna we're all gonna me, die you know? really soon. The coronavirus is gonna kill us all. Thanks, China. Oh we yeah, that's again. right. I guess that's um, true. I guess that's I, true. Yeah, started hearing about this coronavirus. Are, is that okay? Are we good? Uh, <laughs> we don't know yet. No. Short answer, no. Long answer, right. if you find out that it has arrived in your city, don't go outside. Look, sure. I mean, okay, that's what they said about what? Fucking the, the, the flu, the chicken flu, the fucking bird flu, the fucking the anthrax flu. Wait, scares. Wait, what's the flu? It never a- amounts to anything, and everyone wait, gets all wait, excited. Wait, that's that's not, to that is not died. true. Sometimes it amounts to something. Okay, you, uh, this one it, it, it amounts like, to okay, some amount of death. Ebola, Everyone's scared about Ebola. Recently, Ebola was right? bullshit, Ebola right? Caused. Ebola killed like seven people. Coronavirus okay. has so far killed okay. at least sixty people. Okay, but we do know you, there to be okay. hundreds of thousands of people infected. Most We're Chinese cities China. are locked down. Uh, it has come to America. It is spreading through Texas. It's in France. It's in Orange County. It's been identified somewhere in Virginia right. with only okay. one case. So oh, far. great. Oh. The place we're all going to. Around. Excellent. Cancel okay, but note that survival rate. Note not that inv- survival rate, though. Thousands infected, 60 dead. That's pretty good. No, that's not right the there. survival rate. The, it's the infection. That's how many have died the thus infection far. lays dormant in you for, like, m- for weeks on end. So it's suspected mm. that there are hundreds of thousands of c- people carrying it who don't know about it yet. But it's asymptomatic. Okay. Okay. Uh, potentially in the air, um, it is very easy to get and very hard to notice if you have it. But yeah, I'm the, asymptomatic. The, Emphasis on simp. That's me. There are some. There are some <laughs> light parts to this, though. Uh, you can be immune to it. It mostly okay. kills older people or people with weakened immune systems. Oh my god! So okay. the, we're finally getting rid of the boomers. It's ben, oh, ben and it's, Tom it's are gonna, vulnerable. It's ben the, and Tom are going down. Up, it's got to take out the boomers before the election. That would Go be coronavirus. <laughs> this is the final <laughs> bid against Bernie. This is their last ditch attempt oh, to sabotage. No, 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 the no, DNC no. is at this the is core gonna, of this. This is going to propel Bernie. This is going to propel Bernie into office because only the young voters will be left. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's. True. Oh, I won't thought he'd be dead though. He's the yeah, oldest I was man thinking, alive. Won't, won't like all of the candidates for the Democrats be dead except for Tulsi and Yang? Yang just wins by default. Tulsi Gabbard is finally going to get her chance. Tulsi yeah. v. Yang. Tulsi v. Yang is all that's going to be left. Thank <laughs> God. What a fucking future that it's would just, be. It's just going to be Pete, Pete Buttigieg. Oh, right, no, right. that's right, Pete. <laughs> Who's going to vote well, for Yang's, Pete? Yang's pulling I'm just saying, if Pete, Pete Buttigieg now, so. does the floss dance at one debate, he's got my you know vote. What? He's got I'm my glad, vote. I'm glad Yang's pulling above Pete. You know, that's Thank pretty I mean, it's God. not a huge accomplishment. I'm glad about yeah, Pete's yeah. a fucking I, joke, but you know what? I certainly like Yang more. He seems more like a solid I, dude. I did you guys see? Like Yang did you guys more. see how the other day when there was that completely natural uh, vote for mm. Bernie hashtag that was going around? That the next morning there was a obviously mm. very planted and fake uh, of I'm voting for Pete hashtag. And if you uh, click, no. if you okay. were to click on it, okay. most of them were I'm not hashtag voting for Pete yeah. because <laughs> he's clearly oh, a CIA Pete. plant. Like that's like <laughs> half the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna take I, our weed, guys. I saw I saw hashtag hot girls for Bernie. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. That's that's a, that's a powerful one. That's a powerful one. Uh, um, um, I'm all for uh, mommy Tulsi though. I'm all in on uh, Tulsi's know. too hot. She can't be president. She is too hot. It's oh, weird. It's, it's, it's distinctly right. weird. It's not right. Don't you want to be able right. to say well, did, you jacked did you see off to the president? Ste- <laughs> did you see that? Ste- I already did you see can, that? Ste- did you see the Stefan Mullen you tweet about Tulsi? He did it again. Did he, he did do an... the eggs thing? Did he do yes, the eggs thing? Yes, he did oh, the oh eggs thing my again. God. He's like, hmm, she's 38, <laughs> second marriage, no kids. Hope she thinks about having kids soon. Imagine how fun it would be to grow up in Hawaii. Time's running out. Ambition alone won't keep you company in old age. Oh, oh I mean. Oh, shit. As always, Stefan, spot on. Spot on <laughs> analysis. <laughs> But perhaps Holy not fuck. the right time or place. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is it. This is he. It, he he generated a lot of buzz with the last one, so he's at it again. I I totally believe that he did it, knowing the kind of reception. He I gets mean, he he matches, knows what no response doubt. the Taylor Swift one got. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. He's not no doubt. he's not stupid. I think at this point Wait, he's cashing. I mean, like I don't need. He's like okay. I put in some stats into like. 
you know, likability, like as a normal person to like, bro- he's like, I'm cashing that in. I don't need that anymore. I'm ascending. Wait, are you trying to say to just... that calling Taylor Swift a dead egger is an unlikable move? Because that sounds fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> dead yeah, egger. Well, to some, to, to, to the feeble minded. <sighs> um, um, yeah, he's a, he's a mad lad. Think... There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I think he's overreacting. <laughs> um, <laughs> you think so? <laughs> oh my huh. god. I mean, you can't make an omelet without a few dead eggs. Rewind right? that. So... Play it back again. That was too good. <laughs> <laughs> if that's if that's not the title of this episode, I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, fuck. Uh, no, you can't title it. I don't want it to be spoiled. Oh, uh, you know yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. So, so I, oh, I got on Twitter man. today this yeah. morning, and mm-hmm. I see and I see uh, Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. He that's did. a funny meme. That that's turns out that's bad. real though. Yeah, it is happened. real. It, it did happen. Didn't I'm just okay. Up. I thought it was a meme because didn't um didn't uh, LeBron like just beat his like career score record like yesterday? Holy, uh, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I, I don't know basketball. I uh, feel like I saw. I feel like yesterday I just happened to see like a trending hashtag about because like LeBron has like just surpassed Kobe in terms of like overall career scoring, and then like the next day Kobe explodes. I mean, does anyone know like what happened? Like, did, did I mean maybe someone intentionally fucking murdered them? Maybe he? I don't know. Was this? Or was I it have just no an idea. Accident, but like, obviously... as a, as I pointed out in the chat, um, yeah. somebody predicted this eight mm. years ago, in a tweet that had shit tons of retweets and likes already. Um, so I assume that like maybe he's just a man who took a lot of helicopters, and people just thought this was going to happen eventually. Yeah. I have That's no my idea. Guess. But, uh, I was saying, if this happened to Bill Burr, I would have understood it because he historically is he fly, he flies helicopters, he loves helicopters. I wasn't aware Kobe is an enthusiast or or used him much, but uh, clearly, I mean, he is rich, here. isn't he? He's a basketball boy. He is rich, boy. no doubt about that. No his, doubt about uh, that. his his daughter was in it too. His daughter. Oh died. my god, are you fucking kidding me? No, Holy yeah, him and his daughter were on the helicopter. And they Jesus fucking blew Christ! Up. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, Yikes. that to to me that rules out the suicide because I don't think the man would kill his daughter. I would if, think so. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, just saying. that was my. I was like, did he did he crash his own helicopter because he was so fucking mad about his I mean, record maybe. being beaten? I don't. <laughs> wait, wait. You say he's so mad, like he's the specific <laughs> yeah. emotion is he seething with the rage? I'll show you, LeBron. He's and he's on he's he on Twitter. He sees the hashtag <laughs> trending with his right. Re- he's like, darn it, and just like veers into the ground. Uh, I, no, yeah, yeah. I'd lean I towards think despair. So. If, if I don't anything, think so, I don't think probably so. not. I guess it was probably. I mean, it was I don't know who was flying it. I don't, I don't know anything, but uh, I don't think I don't think he was personally piloting. It. I knew nothing about Kobe other than he was a good basketball player. Uh, he had a good smile. He seemed like a, a good chap. Uh, but uh, so rest in peace, bro. I'm 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 just a little embarrassed because I I see I saw a tweet from Misanthropony of all people who was just mm. like, boy, sure is sad that Kobe da- Bryant died in a helicopter crash. I thought it was a joke about his record being being. I'm like, ha ha ha. Oh. classic, <laughs> classic mm. map, classic, classic map. irreverent. <laughs> yeah, so. He, Gave that a, gave that a like. Oh, uh, no. it turns out it's not. I mean, a joke. to be fair, if, uh, I yeah. probably would have assumed that as well if I hadn't seen it from a news source, like when it came on mm-hmm. my timeline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. bo- boy, LeBron, you really got egg on your face now. Should should have held off beating that record. Man. Yep. For, sure sh- sad, for shame. That guy have died. you no but, sense of decency, uh, rest sir? Rest in peace. Rest in power, the Kobe. Guy. Yeah. Mm, that's all I got. That's all I got. I don't know anything else about about Kobe Kobe Bryant, unfortunately. (laughs) Well, well, I guess Uh, fortunately for myself, since I don't have to feel sad. Fair. Fair. Uh, I I want to talk a little bit about Mm. uh, Sengetsu no Lion, the shogi boy anime. Yeah. Because I've been watching the second season, and it's beautiful and great. And um, I have... With in conjunction with my brother HGB guy, mm. uh, who you can find on YouTube and he makes weird videos, go check him out. <laughs> Lol. Um, he does a lot of woodworking stuff and builds chairs now. He he literally lets chairs, um, and huh. he is like <laughs> he has the tools and the manpower. I think w- what we're we're doing together is we, we he, I've told him about this enemy. We're both watching it, and we're gonna make our own shogi board Whoa. so that we can click. The, the, the pieces on the, on the little thing. Do you have any desire to actually oh, learn how to play or just to click the pieces down? <laughs> I think I th- it was go- it's going to be like a, t- a solid like bro, three bro, hours I've of clicking news. the pieces, but then we might learn. 
I, I actually learned how to play shogi when I was a young man, and wow. for for real, it's really not that much more complicated than normal chess. Except yeah, that, like, I mean that's what it's I, like I figured. Like I, yeah. I played chess. It's not when that I hard. It's really not that hard. As I, it's, as I it's not like it, Go though, at all. I mean, Go it, is the insanely complicated it, one. This is uh, yeah. Isn't uh, sure. but Shogi is like. Um, shogi is more like chess. Shogi it does it have more. Basically, just is chess with different rules. I think Shogi Pretty does much. have like a multitude more like possibilities than chess, though. Well, the, the, like the pieces even... can evolve like in checkers, kind of. So that's yeah. a big factor. Yeah. I try. I tried yeah. to learn it in high school. I printed out like like a set on paper and cut out pieces. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Good to know that Shogi stealing well, ideas then from Pokemon. Both of you, both of you, obviously <laughs> need to watch San Gatsu no Lion since you actually know. Anything about shogi? And I know I know a little bit. Yeah. And it's the best the show it's ever. It's so I, I kind of wanted to watch. Um, I, like I read much of the Akagi manga, which is obviously about gambling mahjong. I do not understand the rules of mahjong one fucking bit, and I had no idea. And I think it actually did hurt my enjoyment because they're like they're trying to be like, oh, he's got like a shitty hand, and they're like yeah. misleading you for when it's revealed he actually turned it into a really good hand with these moves. But because I don't understand the difference between the two, I'm like, I I kind of sure. I'm in in Sangatsu the. Th- they make it very clear mm. um, through like visual aid and uh, you know mind narration uh, yeah. of of certain characters to make it like uh, e- very easy to follow along. I have mm-hmm. no idea what's going on most of the time, mostly because shogi looks at a glance inc- impossible to understand because they're all like <laughs> Japanese characters on the things. Right, if you don't know, those, sure, sure. So like uh, even if, even if I'm learning a little bit, um, I. I, I, in the in the brief moments where they show the board from top down view, and you're supposed to, you, you know, if mm. you know shogi, you might be able to see what's going to ca- happen. They they spell it out, so nothing like goes over my head, and I, I can okay. follow along okay, fine. That's good. It's you know, it's I, just uh, so fucking good of a show in general. It's not like mm-hmm. it, it, it. I would compare it a little bit to, I mean, my anime and manga like knowledge is is lacking but mm-hmm. uh i shield 21 nate it has that oh, same sort of it's one of my faves and ben's as well i think just just Wait, in, t- in terms of like I making a oh yeah 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 in, in terms of making a show Except about a sport part. really good what no the racist, racist part was my favorite part ben uh but yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah yeah no, I, I remember that it's pretty it's pretty good racism as racism goes. <laughs> it's it's not I like the, the term same biological sort of... essentialism ben but mm, uh you know. yeah it's oh, not the it's same. Just, it's just of, black people's muscles. Just the rest just of us can never muscles, be, be great athletes. <laughs> uh, Sorry, it's, Gib, it's not. It, it's it's not exactly the same sort of shown any yeah. like uh, you know train montage thing. But like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Is like it the quality? Level. Is it racist to say another race is better than yours? Well, I mean, um, okay, it depends yeah. really what you mean by the word better in that context, because, I mean, I mean, for, well, for example, is it racist to say, I think, I believe Inuits are better at surviving in cold temperatures? Is that, ra- I mean, maybe by some okay, definitions? Okay, the, th- the, thing I about I sh- the thing about I Shield 21 is that it's like, like, the the moral is not like, like, the white guy is mad that, like, the black guy was, like, a better athlete than him. But the moral, yeah. at he some point, to get it, over it, it kind of it kind of comes down to, like, it's not like, oh, well, you know, you just got to, you know, everyone, everyone has a, a great chef can come, to, a great yeah. chef can come from anywhere. It's, uh, oh, black people are actually just better athletes. Like, <laughs> well, whoops. okay, I mean, look, it, it's I fu- true. I fucked up. Look at the NBA, bro. Look at the NBA. I mean, I mean, that, that, there, there, there's been, uh, people who have said things like that throughout history, sure. you know, uh, like Hitler. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, it, oh, it's, God, I think it's, I mean, the, the message at the end is like, despite, despite the natural genetic advantage that at least Panther has, that yes, is heavily associated with black people's muscles in those <laughs> words. Those, that, yep. uh, it's like Sena. Sena is going to just try hard and Sena, try to beat I mean, him Sena with his, has his own. he's got a, he's a it's, short Japanese yeah, brain. It's, the same, it's a similar and, like sort of yeah. um, thing mm-hmm. where like sometimes you'll never reach the top, but you got to keep going. It just also happens to be about mm. race, and that's what makes it weird. It's pretty weird. And, and, and I'm sure, I like that part in Song God's No Lion, where they were like, despite being, you know, really high intellect uh, East Asians, unfortunately, those damn Ashkenazi Jews with their higher percentage of IQ, <laughs> we just can't compete against them, damn it. Oh, so close. Uh, Wait, what are so Ask- close. What are Ashkenazi Jews? Uh, or, uh, Ashkenazi. I actually don't like... know exactly what the difference is, but they're the ones th- that I mean, everyone I says just... are s- smart and I, I just know it from people saying that. That's all I know. Um, I couldn't tell you. There's um, <laughs> I know about it. you guys know Sean? He's a bread tube guy. 
He did a. I, he has yes. a, unfortunately. Yeah. Fuck off. He's Sean's great. He's really good. Oh, he did a video. No. Fuck you. He did a video about um the the bell curve, the book, the bell curve. You know that one. Right. The one right. that's like, um, you know, uh, uh, intelligence is heritable, and uh, he just goes into how right like. How it's not just it's not just uh, people being like oh you can't say that like that's that's unacceptable science you can't yeah, it's like the book no the book like set out with a deliberate agenda to push a certain narrative it doesn't it it like it does it in a weird way that doesn't it isn't like scientifically rigorous uh, it's a good video. That's if what, you say what so. Did that have to... I mean, I've heard arguments to the contrary from people like Sam Harris, who read the book, and I mean, he said that it was pretty well sourced and good. I well, could be wrong. Sam That's Harris just another, is a, I don't know. keeps Probably bad company, and book. I don't trust him. Okay, okay. Don't actually know anything about Sam Harris, but whatever. <laughs> I, I like him for his religious stuff and his uh, his what's the word? Um, uh, deter- not not determinist, but like uh, self self control. What is it? Fucking uh, whatever. You know what I'm talking. about. Self determination, yeah, versus determinism, that that stuff. Free will, sorry, free will was the word I was looking for. Free will, um, aka that thing that's not real. Uh, exactly, exactly correct. Uh, <laughs> but it, but it seems like it is, so it's almost as good. Uh, about Sun God's No Lion, I was gonna say that like it's. I was surprised to hear from Digi's video recently about like the best anime of the last decade. Oh, that was his number one, which was you know pretty pretty cool, and I really want to check it out. I didn't. What I watched episode one and loved the animation, and my, my, I remember vividly my favorite scene was when he like comes home to that family, oh, and everything yeah. goes from dark to like warm and fuzzy, I and love so. That. That's like it was and so, the funny and thing how, is, all the girls are so fluffy and glowing. That that it's whole beautiful. part, it, that aspect of the show, I think, is one of its most like divisive elements because there are some divisive. people who they they don't like the the tone shifts, like the way that it goes from like so Seems extreme. Like that's the point, one, that is the point. That's literally yeah, the yeah. point. But mm. you know. I love that shit because it's the way that he, you know, he's like completely in his own head, just like all mm. these dark thoughts swirling, and it's like the super dark color palette. And then he enters that house, and it's like, you know, it's like he he literally can't be the person. Bro, you he know would what that's like? Be. That's like having a conversation on Twitter and then meeting up with your friend in real life. Oh my god, it's yeah, exactly it's exactly it's like. like that. It's <laughs> literally like when I get off the internet and do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It's, I, yep, I yep. love how much the show is it's about his growth in in ways that like a normal uh, like thing mm. about a guy who's good at um, X sport or whatever it usually isn't yeah. about it's like he's uh, called a child prodigy or like a middle schooler like a profession professional mm-hmm. and and like you, you, my first thought is like oh, okay so this is gonna be about him meeting like shogi players and then beating them and then training and beating them and one after the other but it's so much right, right. not really about that at all it's all about yeah. him and 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 the like all of the stuff that surrounds shogi in his life yeah mm. Nate did you ever watch Honey and Clover uh no just saw <sighs> a little bit of it here and there it's the same author so it's it's very similar oh okay in, uh, it it does look similar now that I think about it uh up, update on the look. Brad mm. situation Brad Garlinghouse has been streaming for 3 hours he is up to 3.4k live viewers that can't be right. Way it to was, go, Brad. It was definitely Pulling up some great numbers. 12 when I woke up. Maybe he so. started, maybe he ended and started a new stream. He he did. For a, It got taken down and restarted at one point. I wonder if you... Brad's just killing I wonder it. if you're going to get the AdSense after this all comes back. Hopefully. I would assume I mean, not because this will... Because AdSense is tied to your Google account, so probably the AdSense for this will go to whatever Google account the channel is tied yeah. to. Yeah. Any anything done during this time, I would estimate. So, like all my videos that are still getting views here and there, probably Ugh. all go into his account. I Fuck mean, that. look, if it's just like one month's worth of pay, that that ain't gonna break the bank. You know, one couple of AdSense money. It's gonna but, break uh, Brad Garlinghouse's spine as we go and. <laughs> I hope. Um, Oh, shit, what was I going to say? Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know. Obviously, it's fucked up. Uh, please give it back, Brad. Come on now. Come on. We got enough crypto. We're all gentlemen let's, here. Let's all We're, all, we're both here. businessmen, Brad, you and I. We can work something out. <laughs> As I pull back the trigger on my revolver, <laughs> put it directly at the back of his head, just log into the account, transfer it on over, and we can end this peacefully. Shall we go to voicemails? I'm ready. I'm yeah, ready if everybody else do wants it. to. Oh, my God. It's already been over an hour. That was a fast hour. We had a lot to talk mm. about today. Time really goes did. by fast. We're having fun. 
Uh, and despite everything bad going on right now, that it is kind of fun to talk about. Oh, I, there was one other thing I was gonna say, which was just like, um, I am so excited to play the victim card. I cannot wait to get <laughs> out there, sure. mix it up, I, and finally you know, have some victim status to cash in on. Nate, uh, oh boy. You know, you just brought up something that I do think is kind of an interesting topic, uh, just to yeah. touch on a little, which is... Sure. So, something I don't understand about people on the internet is uh, everybody takes themselves so fucking seriously and their opinion mm -hmm. so seriously, and I really... I have to feel like if you are capable of taking all this stuff so seriously, you must not realize how bad things really are. Because if you did, you'd be fucking, you'd just kill yourself. Like, if, if, Probably. if I mm. took, every, if, if everything that happened that I found out about that was terrible, like, affected me to the extent that it should, I would just be dead in an afternoon. Like, there's so much fuck shit on this planet Earth. <laughs> and I just spend all day thinking about it. And the only way to get through it is to just make it funny for yourself. Like, I... I mean, we've talked about this before, how, like, I don't understand mm. how people can say, like, oh, you can't joke about that. It's like, well, then how am I supposed to deal with it? But, like, mm -hmm. I, I seriously think those people must just not realize, like, how bad things really are. I mean, there, there's one, like, philosophy or, like, there's one operation going on there, which is, like, in your life, you, you selectively can decide what it is you choose to spend your time thinking about and dwelling on. Yeah. And you, you could be, like, a Mother Teresa and choose to dedicate your whole life to, like, individual suffering. And, you know, maybe the world would be a better place if everybody did that. Uh, like getting down in the dug, a Maiden Astraea style from Demon Souls and taking all the filth of the entire yeah. world on your shoulders I'm not even, to, like, well, try to help. I, I mean, but. what I'm saying is, like... Yeah. Cuz I I feel like I do go out of my way to find out like what bad is happening and it's not that I don't care it's that like mm -hmm. acting serious about it will kill you like the stress the depression mm -hmm. the just mm -hmm. like the think like just thinking about it is like fuck it's like if you don't make jokes about it I don't know how you could deal with it if you literally were like paying attention to all, like like just thinking about what's going on right now it's like we uh you know are in conflict in the Middle East still. Uh, there's yep. missiles going around. Even I think today, like Iraq or so, some, there was missiles landing by our bases in Iraq or whatever. Who, by the way, had like a mm. million man protest to try to get us out of their country, which of course we're ignoring and barely reporting on. Um, you've got the coronavirus. You've got the Epstein scandal still going on. Uh, fucking no one knows where Ghislaine Maxwell is still. Like, I mean, it's just like there's hmm. so much stuff. I And again, like if you don't joke about it, I, I really don't think that anybody who knows how much is going wrong could survive taking it as seriously as the way people take the few things they do care about well, on Twitter. Well, here's my, here's my hmm. hypothesis. I think it's these people do know the world is fucked up, so they choose to ignore it and just try and delve into media and stuff. And so when small little infractions happen in the media that's their escapism, they blow a gasket because they that's, have no that's ability probably true. to deal with conflict. Because it definitely true is true sides. that the it's people I see who act like babies about that kind of content are the people who seem to have the least perspective on, like, how fucked things are, you know? So I think you might be onto something there. I think these people are sheltering themselves, and so they don't, they don't even realize how bad it really is. Right. And they're yeah, complaining I mean, about shit true. that doesn't matter. Like, I mean, considering, joking. like, the, the hacks and stuff going on right now, I mean, for right. me, I think I'm a pretty, pretty open-eyed guy. I mean, in general, I know I've got my own perspective and all that stuff. I'm, I'm not thinking about the wars going on every second of the day and all that stuff. But, yeah. like, when it comes to something like this, like, I'm just, I, I try to just gather all the information, and I'm like, okay, like, what's the worst-case scenario? The right. worst-case scenario here is that, like, these channels are gone forever. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. If that happens, you know, it's not like everybody who's interested in my work is gone from the world. Right. You know, I'll rebuild. And, like, hey, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I think about things like, uh, historically, I, I remember to this day, like, moments when, like, Dr. Wolf's channel got taken down. He came back and, like, doubled a sum count in a day. I mean, hey, there's probably some kind of silver lining. I didn't lining. know that happened to Dr. Um, Wolf. I mean, that, that was, like, early days, but I, I always think about that as an example. Like, Monkey Jones, when his channels got taken, they come back, and right. obviously later on, things got worse for him, but uh, early on, he did experience some stuff like this. Yeah. So, like, in the grand scheme of things, like, in my overall arc of life of just trying to survive doing YouTube, like, is this a setback? Sure. Uh, but will I be able to, one, like, make it funny and possibly, you know, entertain people with a funny story that happened? Probably. 
probably, and it won't do anyone any good to just sit around and be upset. I got all remember, that out of the way like when, when I first when, noticed, but now I'm over remember it. Remember <laughs> when Monkey's channel got taken down and he went around talking about how his life was over and got addicted to drugs I, and started I cheating on his girlfriend, that. and yes. now his channel is up to 150,000 subscribers again? What a fucking You know, pussy. that's a pretty good example. You know, whatever you say about Monkey, it's all fine, but I mean, when we all saw that, we were like, I mean, yeah, Monkey, this is really bad, that's true, but like, this seems... Too dramatic a reaction. Dick Masterson for, built him a website. Know. Like, what the fuck? I would be. I would love to have a website yeah. built by Dick Masterson. I mean, you know, I, su- I I suppose I could say like, what position am I in to judge someone who's lost their website? Except that at this very moment, <laughs> I am someone who exactly. has fucking lost multiple YouTube channels and shit. Uh, so. I don't, yeah, it's a not even bit just situation. yours, but collaborative products. No, like all of yours too. <laughs> Whoops, sorry guys. Yeah. Uh, and thank God you guys are all uh, pretty cool about it so far. Uh, we we're, we're actually I mean, having a. We're, well, but Nate, the thing is, we're actually having secret a secret meetings. meeting uh, once yeah. this is over to yeah. uh, vote on kicking you. Sorry. Uh, well, that's, I mean, right. obviously, that's we're just waiting until <laughs> Radcon when we have you in person. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Let me just say, all right, that makes sense. You, you should wait till after Radcon until the money gets paid out because right that's now true. it's all going to my bank. So oh, like. You're just going to want to wait no, until... No, no, don't say that. Brad. Brad's no. always listening. He'll go for that oh, next. Oh, no, Brad. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoopsie-daisy. There it all goes, guys. There goes the Kickstarter show. <laughs> at, um, at least it seems like... I mean, think, about, funny, think guys, about this, though. Story. Like, this thing was on, on your computer. It could have affected more than your YouTube channel. That's and what that, I said. And that's that's why possible. I said to reformat immediately. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm going to reform. I, I, I would have done it already. I just I'm like I don't want to have to redo months of work. So uh, I'm currently I'm using just like other redo machines. Years of savings when his bank account's emptied. I I mean maybe I'm you know I'm changing my passwords. I'm doing all the stuff I should do, but. Uh, you know, it, it seems like the one. I mean, c- consider the fact these guys approach me through a through an email. They're like, "Hey, you're a known YouTuber. We want you to sponsor this video." Seems like their main target was YouTube. And obviously, they could have put other stuff in there, but like, you know, it seems like that. That's the only thing I've noticed any effectiveness with. The only thing that like really could have been targeted the way they did it. So, overall, I'm not too worried about the rest of my life being destroyed or anything. Um, you know. So I guess, I guess I guess we'll see. It could happen. Just, just the just the important part. Just kind of like the main livelihood thrust. I mean that you know. Yeah. I'll survive. I'll survive. <laughs> no, it, there's it's 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 Long. almost a little bit relieving that the stream went up because we at least know what their goal was. Like up until that it, point, yeah. it, there were days of just like, well, all the accounts have been stolen. We don't know why yep. or for what fucking purpose, but. It, that's true. And considering, like I said this before, like the stories that people have gotten their accounts back after like maybe two weeks or so. Yeah. I mean, it's already been, you know, three, four days, hopefully. You know, we're already well into that timetable. I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's, it's reassuring that you're talking to a human. Y- yeah. Fi- like I, you start with a bot, you get a ticket created, and then they put you through via email to what appears to be an actual human. So I, I, I think All right. That's well, a- it's 444, so in the name of Jay-Z, let's listen to voicemails. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. So, okay. So, again, fucking the damn bot is broken, so we got to listen to him by clicking on oh, them. Right. Uh, but if you want to leave voicemails, go to the SpeakPipe link down below, which miraculously is still active and people can submit voicemails to, even though we haven't paid and we're way beyond the total capacity. I can't explain it, and neither can anyone else. But we're going to listen to him here, so leave your voicemails there. Uh, all right. First one is from Cringe. Do you guys do you guys have it pulled up? Yeah. I'm oh, ready. Wait, I, I got it. Yep. Are we good? No, okay. Wait. On the count of three? Uh, oh, oh you, you got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. On the count of three, let's all click on cringe. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, PCP. All this Radcon 4 creative hype has me mm. wanting to try and put myself out there in the form of video game streaming. Thing is, I'm an introverted motherfucker. And last night, on my very first ever stream, within mm. an hour, I had 200 of my Facebook normie friends watching my stream, what? hopping in chat, Those are good numbers. BSing Those are with good me. Numbers. Now, the thing is, I am a total cringe lord. I, I don't know how to deal with this many people, and I was just wondering how all of you do it. Gib, what's your advice? You seem more the introverted type like myself. How do you put yourself out there for the internet peoples? I'd really like to try and 
get myself out there and make a hobby out of this, if nothing else. No monetary goals in mind. Mm. Any input mm. would be highly valued. Thanks for your time, guys. What the fuck kind of introvert has 200 if, Facebook if you're getting, friends if to you're watch getting, their stream? If you're getting 200 that's, viewers. That's like, st- you're like the top 1% of Twitch. If you're yeah, getting Yeah, that's staggering. Viewers. Like, oh, it's I am games Twitch versus rarely platform. broke 100 viewers in its entire uh, I mean, existence. I mean, on YouTube, I was able to get significantly more streams than I, or viewers well, than yeah. I did on there. Maybe, maybe Facebook well, was, is also way more. Oh, he was on Facebook. Right. Was he streaming on Facebook? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Oh, okay. That's probably is oh, a different. I, I, I have no idea. Spe- that. Speaking right. personally, well, I have seventy nine friends on Facebook, so lol. literally Clue not this enough for this to happen. So, all all right, right. Yeah, um, he, he was asking you. Yeah. Uh, I I clicked the thing, but it took a while to load, so I was out of sync. Um, so oh, okay. I, I I may have missed. So, I, what was it, his question exactly? He said he's a he's a cringe lord and he's, he's introverted. But he in, he did a stream yesterday, got two hundred viewers on on Facebook. It seems, uh, but he feels I guess nervous about it because uh, he got more people um, than he expected. He was asking for advice I, on I, how I to have, make a hobby out of it. You, not if you bad. have like a big chat, like you can kind of just ignore the. Ch- I mean, not completely, but you can kind of just let the chat interact with itself for like long stretches or like for yeah. significant stretch. You don't have to worry too much about it. I mean, in terms of like being introverted and putting yourself out there anyway, it it's just a matter of um, doing it mm. a lot of times. I mean, if you listen to like yeah, early episodes of the TCP or the Horse Cast, I am like a even more meek than now. I'm still like not the <laughs> loudest person, but like in general, uh, I I've improved a lot in terms of being able to speak. Not just on podcasts, but like in it, you know in yeah, conversations. Yeah. So yeah, just it's, do it's do a lot of streams, mm-hmm. I guess. It's yep. interesting that yep, he yep. chose the, the the word introvert because like I would consider myself an introvert. I don't I don't think of streaming as talking to people. Like it's just talking to myself in front of people. That might be mm. why it's easier for me. Like I the abstraction of the fact that it's just names that I don't know who they are. Uh, makes it yeah. not feel like well, I don't, know, know, I don't know, feel like if I'm you're public on speaking. Facebook and all these yeah, people. Yeah, maybe know he who knows all these people. That That's will true. definitely be a different more. feeling. I mean, sure. yeah, I would mm, not want mm. to stream to what he said, quote, normie friends on Facebook. First of all, get yeah, rid of so. these fucking normie friends. What the hell? <laughs> there is friends. I mean, why? If, if you don't like them, <laughs> fuck why? normie. If they are donating, get them the fuck out of there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is a pay-to-play community here on on my Facebook, guys. So uh, gotta turn those players into into players. Oh no. (laughs) Well, Well, I I think good advice is right. You clearly like doing it. I would say here here's just a plan you can use. I would say the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be. So that's fine. Maybe just give yourself like a little bit of make a plan for yourself. Like know what you're gonna do, how long you're gonna do it. You can I don't know post ahead of time if you want people to know. Then like you, it's a it's a known quantity. You start and stop at a time. You don't. There's no pressure on you to do more or whatever. And you can just relax, interact with the chat as much or as little as you please, and just get the experience under your belt. And yeah. you'll be fine. If there's think, 200 people watching, you're already doing something right. If they're, I think the most you know, important thing watching. is that, like, you just started. It's not going to be amazing. So, like, just understand yeah. that, like, not being super entertaining is part of the process. Practice is going to make you much better at speaking. You're going to get a feel for not only how you like interacting on stream, but what your audience responds to. It's a give and take mm-hmm. between, like, the viewers and you. And you'll just kind of, like become more comfortable with it so like i i just think the best thing to do is just keep pushing onward i, I mean kobe bryant wasn't a great helicopter pilot in his first day oh, <laughs> oh god forgive him. Oh, too, too man, soon I'm so, dude i'm sorry kobe that joke He's dunking crashed in heaven. and burned man uh mm. all right let's go to the next one uh ooh, even i feel bad about that one uh all right let's go <laughs> to the next one um I'm, I'm honest. I haven't even absorbed that fact. It's so weird that it actually it happened in real life. It is very strange. It feels like a Family Guy skit more than like a real. Some people article. joke to cope. Some people joke to cope. All right, let's go to the next one. This is a, a camel quandary. Is our next voicemail. Oh, no. uh, all right, uh, everybody ready? Yep. Ready to click? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Hey PCP, I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. Um, as I'm sure you're well aware. Camels are quite adept at dispensing bile uh, great mm. distances. They, they spit <laughs> yeah. as a self-defense mechanism or kind of on <laughs> command for their amusement. Um, if you were to have a camel uh, genetically modified to dispense any liquid in this manner, you so desire. Heavy cream. Uh, what liquid would that be and why? <laughs> for the purposes of this ben exercise, just be making the out camel, with a camel must be altered. <laughs> and uh, the liquid selection will not 
affect the camel's well-being. Let's say you chose something like okay. lava. The camel could then spit mm. the lava and it would not uh, like catch on fire from the Thank inside. Thank you for clarifying. In any way. Curious to know your thoughts uh, on this. Wow. Have Coconut milk. What a camel quandary. Some, yeah. Anything keto is fine. Cum. <laughs> Cum, no doubt. Uh, Camels already blood. do that I from just a different blood. orifice. Um, I guess I'd take Huel, just squirt Huel everywhere. I don't want to catch can, you know. fucking camel spit. <laughs> we all go straight to like liquid we want to consume from its mouth. Like, what, how can we use this camel to nourish ourselves? <laughs> I mean, it uh, just saves my, money, dude. It just saves that's money. True. That's my, true. My choice is, of course, uh, weed. <laughs> that's it's not a liquid. liquid. It's not a liquid. It can be a the liquid. Oil, the oil, <laughs> the, va- the vapable oil. Yeah. The va- oil. Uh, so just, I was trying right. to remember the word. The oil was the word I was looking for. Yeah, it's actually not oil. a bad okay. choice. You start herding I... camels. You just run around with buckets trying to catch spit. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually, gonna. I was gonna I say know. stevia because that's just expensive. Stevia. <laughs> <laughs> that's also a salad, isn't it? Isn't that like a powder? You, you, can, you can get it liquid. Okay, okay. I didn't even know that. Steve, just yeah. pop open one of my fucking seltzers. Like, oh, I want it to be a little sweeter. Camel wait, wait, comes wait. over. <laughs> I've got it. Water. Yeah. They've already got their own no. water. Like, if I'm on the desert mm-hmm. and a camel's spitting water, that's great. Aren't they already mm. spitting they... water? It's spit, he said it was though. Bile? It's bile. bile. Like, you can't bile. drink that. Oh, nasty. Ew, gross. If it was like pure, mm. clean uh, drinking water. There's a will, water. there's a way. Uh. Pure, clean drinking water isn't bad. Uh, we should get. Uh, you know, in, in Dungeons and Dragons, there are a bunch of different dragon types, and everyone has like a different type of breath weapon. These are probably like their younger cousins, a different type of camel that each spits oh, wait. a different speaking, substance. Speaking speaking of Dungeons and Dragons, I made a tweet yeah. a few days ago saying I was like getting into Critical Role, like hardcore, because mm. I am, I'm addicted, I love right, the show, right. it's great. And a bunch of people have responded to that tweet saying, uh, do D&D at Radcon 4, make it a stretch goal, we pay Dude, for it. Dude, oh, yeah, oh, I talked about this. Hmm. I thought we should play, we should play the Chuck Tingle pen and paper RPG. <laughs> Oh my god! A live not stream a bad idea. of a D and D session is a pretty good idea. I mean, that's I what Critical say. Role is, and it's great. It doesn't even need to. Okay. We could like make it with good production. With every Victor now and then, I have this know. idea that like, man, we should do like a PCP yeah. like D and D game okay. or, or something. Rather and I than, absolutely okay, think we should do it. I I'm mm. not as interested in doing D and D as uh, so. Mm. You guys don't know about this, but Don Jolly, my friend. Uh, has a yeah. role playing game that he made called Gorefest that's really fucking cool. And there's a video of him doing a live Gorefest session. They actually got a venue in New York City and did a live Gorefest. Um, <laughs> and it's basically a game that is meant to emulate uh, like 80s action movies. And okay. it, but it's it's very streamlined. It's 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 much. It's way less rule intensive. Um, it, it the way it plays is how we would want to play D anD D. So I, I think we should look into doing okay. Gorefest. He's we got de- all the rule sheets it up. It definitely on, uh, does not have to zone. be. It definitely does not have to be D anD D specifically. Like no, no nobody. Yeah, this nobody is a good cares idea in general, though. Yeah. yeah. There's okay. Let's, yeah, I'll link you guys to this the. Uh, it's a good idea. To the Gorefest rulebook. But it's it's pretty. Is there simple. like is there like a GM for Gorefest as well? Like okay, yeah, you players? need a GM. Well, I was I was sure. talking okay. to okay. okay. I, my my friends IRL are big into like tabletop mm. games, and um, my friend was telling me he, he told me about the Chuck Tingle, uh, the Tingleverse, a uh, pen and paper game, which is sounds pretty right, funny. Right. There's also one. Mm. This is an official thing. There is a Wendy's. Um, yes, there is. And and you gain like bonuses in combat by eating like Wendy's menu items. You do. Yeah. This so, is, well, like uh, literally uh, in real life, doing that. Yes, yes in real life. In, in real, real life. <laughs> so we should definitely get on that. And so I'm <laughs> I hope. I really guys, hope there's a Wendy's near Radcon. I'm gonna link you guys the the video of the live gore fest because it is a lot of fun and it was about the mission to kill Jeffrey Epstein. It was oh, four, okay. four assassins Hell, had to compete. I want to watch this irregardless of whether I want I want to play That's this game. It just sounds yeah, amazing. That does sound good. That does sound good. You gain bonus XP uh, if you can recover the flight logs. <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go to our next voicemail already we got a bunch um all right next one is number three is just fan meetup please uh are you ready ready to click yep. ready to go uh okay. yeah mm. i'm ready so the yes oh yes. Shit, okay shit. on the count Wait, of three it, here uh, we go uh yes mm. okay on the count of three one two three hello pcp so a couple episodes ago there was mention of a possible fan meetup during RideCon 4 and i was wondering if you guys were still having that idea to fit that into the busy uh RideCon 4 schedule i know you guys already have so many backer um rewards <laughs> but i'm sure there are so many people who would love to meet you 
Uh, I personally would have to buy a plane ticket and find a place to stay, but I would do that in a heartbeat if it meant that I got to meet my favorite content creators. So I'm wondering if that was still an idea you guys were having. Uh, Thank you. Um, Whoa. There you go. I mean, people have spoken. Uh, we were talking about it in the ch- in the Discord group, our Discord. Um, yep. Yep. I mean, I I think it's a good idea. And it is I, a good I'm idea. I, I, didn't, had, I didn't weigh I, in at the time, but I like the idea. I had reservations mostly because of like potential like problems with like I don't know people flying out and finding a place to stay, and then like the weather yeah. shit, or like we don't have a venue, and it's sort no. of. It's I, lame. I, there were some I saw potential that, I saw issues. that conversation, and, like, Munchie yeah. was talking, and I I basically agree with Munchie 100%. Like, yeah. like if, I mean, we, if, we just, if we just if we just say a time, time and so. a place, like, it's up to it's up to them to figure it out. Let and me just say, because this was fucking retarded to me. There was there was doubt, talk from Munchie of, like, oh. literally letting everyone into the yeah, house no, where I we're doing Yeah, no, I don't Radcon. think we should have the meetup at the house. Fucking retarded. No, okay, but as long I, as we don't do that. I mean, that's against the house rules, so we couldn't even do that anyway. Okay, mm. great. Now I have an actual point I can make uh, against uh, against that. All right, well, well, there you go. But I mean, yeah, I think we all really like that idea. We would definitely put some big asterisks like, go at your own risk. We cannot promise a good time. Yeah. This is just I mean, like a nobody fucking... can promise that. I mean, I, I, I guess it's you're right in the grand scheme of things. Um, it would be every fun. child even, is born with honestly, only a guarantee of suffering we, and nothing else. We that's, also uh, cannot promise that people will even enjoy the content from Radcon Four. So, oh, yeah. that's true. No. At, well, it's at least they know from our history what our our right. content. Whereas, like, if they were actually at Radcon, they'd know what a bunch of disgusting, degenerate losers yeah. who don't do anything cool we all are, and how we I mean, selectively I, pick I'll, I'll say and this, falsely represent like, our while, real lives. While I do think the idea of a fan meetup is a good idea, I don't mm-hmm. think like. Where Radcon 4 is taking place in yeah. Virginia, I yep. don't think it will be that fun of a place to have a meetup, but I do think it would be a good idea to, mm-hmm. uh, after, you know, when we do our next, whenever the next Radcon time rolls around, to do what mm-hmm. you guys were saying earlier and literally do a convention. Yeah. Like, get an actual space. I mean, I think we can do both. I think, I, like, I look think at the we, fucking look, guys who I, I, I don't think it being stuff, in Virginia you know? Beach is like a problem. Like, like, no, no. It, like any any place we wanted to do it would prevent its own present its own logistical challenges, and I mean this is when like the most of us yeah. are going to be in one place at one time. It's, I, it I'm seems just, like a I'm natural saying, time to do it. I'm just saying, like so. a meetup so. at Radcon mm-hmm. Four will be mm-hmm. potentially pretty cool, um, and most likely expensive for whoever needs what do to you, get there. What do you guys think we would True. do? At this, rag. okay. I mean, we wouldn't have I to mean, like. Do I had anything. one thought. We could just like what, go what about, out somewhere and be like, meet us at the park or meet us. At I was a, yeah. I mean, yeah. literally, I just thought it might be fun. For example, to like have a volleyball game <laughs> or something like that, and like that was literally what sure. I thought would be fun. Sure, I mean, and then we, we, it's just an excuse to to hang out with yeah. people Fly a kite. You know, and maybe get some cool footage for Victor for you know part of the you know the whole thing. Okay, here's one thing. Here's an idea that that might work, which would be if okay. we did it, because so. Where Radcon is actually happening is not technically in Virginia Beach. It's in Norfolk. Um, mm-hmm. But Virginia Beach, the actual oceanfront, the coastline, is a gigantic, huge commercial tourist beach that is right. just Perfect a line of about 200 hotels. So, mm-hmm. uh, And the hotel on the very end of that is fairly cheap. So if everybody was going to stay there and we did it at the actual beach, which means we come to them, that would be good because there'd oh, be what plenty about of shit what to about do. This? There's, there's literally volleyball nets there already set up. Uh, that sounds great. There's tons of the shit water. to do at the I love the, the ocean. Oceanfront. What about this? We all we march down the beach in a giant mob and we protest legalized PCP. This is our <laughs> big <laughs> protest. You stole, you stole the RFCK Con uh, for, slime for protest for what it's worth, idea. I, I will well, say you did that for slime. <laughs> For, for well, with but we can do it again. <laughs> the oceanfront right, we'll is crawling with cops, so I would be a little bit <laughs> not trying to draw too much attention. I to mean, ourselves. did I, me- I did I mention that? Did I mention that the slime protest? The cops actually like rolled up and like stared at us, yeah. and then were just like, "Ah, yeah, fuck it," did. and like left. <laughs> they didn't you know, give uh, a the, shit. Uh, like. In the first week that Pokemon Go came out, like everyone was hanging around at UC, the Cincinnati uh, yeah. University, and like everybody was there. I was there. A whole bunch of fucking people were there. And like the cops also just rolled up. And they're like, "What's going on out here?" And then they just kept on going. Yeah. But there was like an unbelievably large amount of people in this one convention yeah. or in this one little entrance where there was like four Pokestops directly next to each other. Uh, understandably so. So 
Yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if, we, if we uh, if we did it at the oceanfront, I would say it would it, it would be reasonable because even if people weren't just coming to see us, there would actually it's a tourist location. There's yeah, exactly. automatically yeah, exactly. things. I will say though, like you know, have money if you're gonna do this. Yeah, it's yeah, it's your responsibility. But I mean, th- this girl right here, she's clearly saying like, I I'll take care of myself. I want to hang out. Yeah, come say that's, hello. That's what you so do. like, if that's the if they know going with their eyes open, then yeah. hey. That's cool. We don't we don't I really have to time. like promise. We don't really have to like do or like provide much of anything else besides like we yeah. will be there. That, right. like, that's like that's the point. Mean, that's the main thing. And the only thing I'm worried about like if it rained that day or something, I would just want like okay, I mean, no if one's something goes wrong, we we'll will just be go at... inside somewhere. We'll go to a... Well, yeah, I just yeah. like we'll just like tweet and let people know where we're at instead or something. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, hell, we'll we'll, yeah. we'll probably I, I do something as, like that. As long so. as we're at the ocean front, there will be plenty of places we can bust just, you know. I mean, yeah. it's a place that is designed to host large numbers of tourists like is, the Virginia you know. Beach beach. Is it okay? So nice. Is it okay to film I, I assume it would be with Victor's yeah. camera and everything, because we yeah. could do like we could get, I film like, music videos there. In fact, if you want to see the pot spot I'm talking about, watch the Sad Boy yeah. uh, Sad Boy Anthem music video. It's all filmed at the oceanfront. Because like nice. we could we could make a lot of footage from that be like part of the OVA that we have to make now because that stretch goal yeah. is reached. Mm. Well, that's exactly what I was mm. thinking. Where would we would would, would film those synergy? Things? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Be an extra in the OVA, but don't come if you're uh, if well, you have money uh, problems. It, if you're interested, we're not let responsible us know. for should, anything. Should we? Should this be like a stretch goal? I don't or? know. Um, I you know I don't I think we should do it no we're matter already, what. Kind we're of, already like, pretty kitted out on stretch goals. Yeah, but my my fear is that people who would donate more will instead buy plane tickets. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe I mean, will I, it you be know, like I think it should only? be a side thing. Mm. Well, no, nothing's I mean, going to stop, stop people. I, from, I mean, yeah, nothing could stop them from just showing up. Like. Mm, if true. you wanted to, true. Uh, okay, t- we, we, we will work this out later. We can. We'll, we'll yeah. keep you posted on yeah. what the fuck's the deal, people. So don't worry about it. We'll get back to you. Um, all right, let's go to our next voicemail already, which is uh, "I'll die on getting a Huel sponsorship." All right, Everybody ready to click, everybody? Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Good to go. Yep. All right, count of three. One, two, three. Nate, if you're really serious about getting this Huel sponsorship, then you need to do one vital thing first, and that's stop your giving them back. free advertising. You always <laughs> talk about how you love the product and you think it's great and that they need to give you a sponsorship. But why would they, they start paying yeah. you to do something that you are already doing? You're already an advocate yeah. for the company. That would just be yeah. a loss for them and would make your message seem a little less trustworthy because now you're getting paid to say it. Um... So by this logic, you should have no positive, express no positive feelings about a product until you're sponsored. Yeah, well, I, I think I mean, that's I probably guess, true. I, I do I mean, think, like, for I monetary think there's, gain. there's some credibility to that, but I do think that like yeah. if if you know your audience sees how much you hype fuel and then they actually like did something for you, the audience yeah. would respect that, you know. I mean that's true. I I know for a fact many yeah. people have gotten into Huel due to my love of the product. Or I mean at least I mean, some. I'll like, say I, that I many, I, many I literally did free promo for fucking Kona Grill barbecue sandwiches for a mm, long time, mm. and they eventually sent right. me two twenty five dollar gift cards to Kona Grill, which I have <laughs> not, which I have not been able to use because they shut down almost all the Kona Grills. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was that that, that put them over the edge. That cut into their profit margins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They were like, we're gambling, we're gambling it all on these two twenty-five dollar gift yeah. cards. Also, the nearest, well, is, the nearest one to me is in Baltimore, the one, the one that we've been to. So, oh yeah, so maybe nice. one day. Hey, we'll see. Um, but uh, fucking, mm-hmm. if uh, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, perhaps I will tamp down on the Huel praise and up my attempts to actually reach someone at the company until something gives one way or another. Uh, all right, next one. Next one is simply called "I Hate Teenagers." No, Teen Argers. Uh, it says Teen. Ar- I might have misspelled that because I, I retyped <laughs> them when I'm doing this. But let's call them Teen Argers. Uh, all right, the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, PCP. My wife, for her job, works with teenagers, and mm-hmm. so that means far more often than I would like in my life that I have to be around teenagers, <laughs> and I fucking hate them. Mm. That sounds As a bunch of guys in their lie. late twenties or early thirties mm. who are constantly surrounded by annoying teenagers and their fan base, <laughs> how the fuck do y'all do it? How do oh, I spend more shit. than fifteen minutes around these awkward fucks without wanting to blow my brains out? Well, Thanks. it helps that trick- we 
it helps that we're interfacing with them through the internet right. where you, you know, don't have to deal uh, with this you know much what? of it. I think, I think yeah. we might have to cancel that meetup, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, a lot of the people at RF Con K were, like, yeah. late teens. Like, prob- right. like, probably a good, like, third of them were, like, under 20. I, just terrible. Or something. Just terrible and, it was, and you know what? It wasn't, it wasn't that cringe. It I mean, wasn't there's, very there's, cringe. Obviously, there are, there are plenty of teenagers who are fine. Munchie was a teenager. It was like 12 when we 12. fucking first met him. Yeah, something uh, like that. But, like, yeah. Teenagers first. who, yeah. like... I think there are certain teenagers who just like, uh, and I, I mean, everybody says this, but they they get it in their head that they just know everything already, you know. And like when you yeah. when you interact with those people, and they're like, I think there are there are some teenagers who, yeah, they're they're smart and they're they, they you can have a conversation with them, but they kind of expect that they will not know as much about the world as you do as an older person. And when mm. you talk to a teenager who doesn't seem to think that that would be the case, it's so frustrating. It's like, how can you not understand yeah. how little perspective you have because you're a fucking in school. Like, it's, it's being in school is totally different from living life outside of school. Like, it's just, well, you learn true. so much just from, like, the first second that you're not in that controlled environment that it, your perspective is radically different. And so the moment you have you are responsible for paying your own bills and like maintaining your own place of residence and getting all your own food, like I I feel like I became an adult the second that was my responsibility and not until that point, which yeah. was at like age like 24 or yeah, 25 same here. or something. It was about 20, yeah. pretty much when I moved out on my own was when it well Really, it was when it's my parents like moved humans, out of my house. Was when I. It's started almost like them. humans are kind of like beasts of burden, and by applying a burden to them, they actually rise to the challenge and grow and evolve as beings. And That's that true. this is kind of a, a helpful state of being for the species to be in, to to some degree. Uh, I just I just solved the case. I just cracked it wide open. By, by the way, I was going to say about teenagers. The other thing about that is. I mean, we always said that Munchie is an, was an outstanding teenager, and still is. He's like he's yeah. eighteen or nineteen, 19 now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's nineteen now, so still a teenager. But Munchie, as long as I've known him, has been way ahead of the curve in terms of yeah. like other people I mean, his, his age. His intellect is astounding. Like it, it is substantial True, compared astounding. to any Galaxy human brain. being. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and even if even if it's not like raw, I don't know, fucking IQ or whatever. It's like it's his initiative is like the real X factor. Like we're, responsibility. We're talking about a guy who figured out how to not need to attend high school. So yeah, I don't yeah. know what the fuck magic he pulled. Uh, well, but see, he but clearly knew thing. way the fuck more than I did when I was his age. Like, there, there's something, like, uh, just take, for example, our discussion about, like, having a meetup at RadCon 4. Like, the thing about that, like, for example, that girl who called, I don't know how old she is, I don't know, maybe she's in her 20s, maybe she's 30s, I don't fucking know. But, like, I could easily see her being a teenager, along with, like, lots of other people who might want to show up. And just also take the people at RFC KCON or R- RFK Con, whatever. Yeah. Like, all those people are pretty young, a lot of them fly in, but, like, what did it actually take them? to get to that point. They didn't just like wake up and like let mommy and daddy do everything. They had to like be involved in a community, like actively participate, like find out about events, like arrange to be there at a, at a time and date yeah. and like make o- all only this the, happen Only themselves. the ones that were capable of that actually made That's it. That's exactly, it's like making it to the end of like the fucking Naruto Chunin exam. Like if you survive yeah. to the end point, you have I, weeded I, out the week. In like high school, I would them. not have been equal to the task of like, like no scheduling way, no, my own trip no and like paying I, I, for my dude, own plane ticket. I, like no literally, fuck. we were babies. Like we I'm thinking babies. about all the times I went to convention. Like it wasn't until pretty much when I was forced to drive Ben and Devu to Atlanta because Victor yeah. flaked. That was the first time I ever did any kind of like major travel where I was in charge, mm. where like I had to right, make any right. decisions at all. Um, and even then, it was just to drive. But like mm-hmm, from mm-hmm. that th- that experience, like opened my world considerably. I traveled the whole country. You were scared after that. of driving. I mean, you hated yeah. driving up to that driving point is or, or sometime around there. It will kill yeah. you. It's not yeah, scary well, I mean, to me that's anymore true. because I just <laughs> do it every day so you know i'm just like i mean it just it gives it that one of the things that it makes me less worried about like who shows up is just to, to even get here means you have a baseline level of competence and it's like yeah. okay like these people are going to be at least kind hopefully, of decent hopefully they i mean we don't know for sure confidence uh, yeah I, I guess we'll see so like a, a lot of the teenagers who are involved have I, already I also crossed just at say, least a few of these thresholds if, if you too. are a, if we do end up having a meetup at radcon and yeah. you are a teenager just know we probably will at some point 
want to go into the bars that litter the shoreline of Virginia Beach. And you will not be able to follow. Tra- you have you to can wait go outside, into the I bar. The you just can't order any oh, drinks. Okay. I mean, they're not going to ID you at the door or anything. I mean, but... some places they don't let you. To... Okay, you, you, it depends on the place. But f- fair Most enough, of them are enough. restaurant bars, so you know you okay, can go in. Okay. Just expect to be around. You're in a tourist area. They expect people to go with family. So. Oh. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. Um, oh, but I was going to say, for the guy's call, though, his question was like, look, the thing is, he's like, my wife works with kids. She's probably a teacher or something. Uh, Lots of teenagers are on. Those kids had to cross zero hurdles right. to be involved in your life. That's the problem here. There has been no yeah, selection there's no, there's process. There's no skill floor. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's, it's, it goes, uh, it goes really all the way down. Point. So, I've, I, honestly, I would just say just minimize contact. <laughs> That's all Divorce. I would do. Just Divorce is your Divorce only is your right move. <laughs> Consider. Uh, I, I, you know, I would say, I'd say just try to find the ones Same. that are at least like kind of decent. It's, 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 it's me someone. or the children. <laughs> yep. R- repeat the after me. It, me or them. Me or them. <laughs> me or them. All right. All right. Next, the next, next, next voice. All right. This one's simply called Where. And let's uh, let's cl- click on it on the count of three. One, two, three. Where is the Tarantino podcast? Oh, I, I want it. Uh, I yeah. mean, the Tarantino <laughs> cast, whatever. Ooh, damn. Nate, you um, promised that there mm. will be more episodes than Red one. Con 4. We're, we'll record Red the next is, one. If you don't oh want to. That's, that's a great actually idea. A great we'll watch, idea. We'll watch the next Please one, and I'll be like a backer, cast. like a behind life. the scenes content, like we did for. Yeah. Like, Dude, the, the next one is fucking weeb. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Everybody's favorite. We'll watch oh, Pulp Fiction, a... and then we'll do a podcast. There hey, we go. Hey, on a. On a, that's a great on idea. A somewhat, on a somewhat similar, if technically unrelated note, I think it would be cool yeah. if I made mm. my long-awaited debut on the Poe D cast at Radcon. I'll finally, ca- oh, finally catch up at One Piece. That would be great. We'd love to have there. you. Yeah, cool. Where? So where are you now? Where? What, what's uh, going? I th- oh God. Um, Did you make it to Big Mom yet? I have made it. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. Like mm. Jin- so you're in the realm of things that have been covered on the podium. They've met up. They've met up with Indeed. Jinbei Indeed. again. I think. I think okay. I'm maybe okay. like a hundred chapters to go before I'm. God damn. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not, that's not I could, that's I like could a, probably a polish it off in a day or wow. two. Wow. Yeah. Like, it only just occurred to me. Potty Cast has been going for like three years, hasn't it? Yeah. Holy yeah, that's shit. right. shit. Long fucking time on the Potty Cast. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, it's a good time. Well, Ben, we would love that. Which is just a drop in the bucket for One cool. Piece is the funny thing yeah. about it. <laughs> It'll, and I mean, who knows? Maybe five more years until the series ends. I guess we'll see. I don't know. That's what we uh, said. Ben, five that years sounds like ago. a great idea. Cool. Awesome. I, I know. We, like, I think like three years ago or so, Oda said in five years we'll like we'll probably be done. He might have said five or seven. I think he said the arcs are getting longer, right? I'm, I'm not eight? just imagining that. The arcs are, definitely they are getting, getting longer. longer. I mean, Dressrosa was the longest of all time. Yeah. Wano was already, I believe, like among the longest ever, and well, it so, hasn't gotten so they're to, like, even the longer than Skypea. Yet. Skypea, dude, Skypea is pretty long, but compared to like Dress Rosa, it's like nothing. Wow. Uh, oh, looking God. back on it, it's ins- I it's mean, and Dress Rosa so is like the worst thick. arc, too, which is. Uh, where, Dress Rosa isn't even bad all the way. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. Oh, I'm really excited for this one, guys. Uh, this is this, So you thought that stealing my channel was bad. Well, I've got even more bad news for me. Here's uh, <laughs> Nate Bestman describes my penis in leaked sex tape. This one's really going to stain my <laughs> reputation, but uh, let's give it a listen. On the count of three, one, two, three. Listen, buddy. Only problem with that, it was just too long. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's the long and short of it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. All right. Let's go Bravo. to the next one. Uh, okay. Let's follow this up with a powerful voicemail uh, from Homeless Ben. I see there's two homeless here. Ben. There's two here from Homeless Ben. He left three, and I kept the two that got me to chuckle. Okay. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's hear that. Okay. First, Homeless Ben. Saga begins on the count of three. One. Two, three. Hey guys, I'm Homeless Ben. I lost everything because I got drunk and took a shit in the kitchen sink and my roommates evicted me. In other words, it was capitalism. So give me a spare change so I can destroy capitalism. Patreon.com slash Ben yeah. Help me. It's the right thing help to me do. F- help, right, me get, help me get a new sink to shit in. Yeah. <laughs> and a let's pot to, to the piss in one. while you're at it. <laughs> a yeah, pot to yeah, piss in and a sink to shit if in. If there's anything left over, sure. These are the truly the two basic needs of any. <laughs> on, on like Maslow's hierarchy, those are the two lowest level ones. Please, guys, help him. Uh, All right, next homeless Ben. It's technically part three, but it's our next one. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three. 
Hey guys, Drunk Homeless Ben here Boo. again. Today, I asked my brother Nate for help, but it was all a trick. Mm-hmm. It was all a ruse. As soon as he let me in his house, I took a shit in his <laughs> sink, too. That'll show <laughs> capitalism. The plan is going smoothly. <laughs> Did he say the plan, One more Did he say the plan is going boys. smoothly? Yeah. That's right, Ben. That's you right. Know, this is a narrative. I, I kinda, I'm kind of. i thinking that might not be the real Ben, because I don't think he would have left Nate's house without those fucking... Sh- Wait, Ben already has the shoes. Ben has Never the mind. shoes. God I damn it, I fucked shoes. it all up. Yeah, let me yeah, tell you, yeah. Ben. Those boots I got this Christmas. When we were together, I saw you eyeing my boots, Ben. Once I can, you I know, even, once shame I on me. I didn't even want my. Twice, I didn't ben. even want my boots. I have boots. Mom and Dad <laughs> were just fucking... dead set on buying us all boots, even though I told them God I do it. not need boots. Mom messaged me and she was like, "Nate, you want some boots?" I was like, "I would love some boots. These are cool." And so she got them. She's like, "Oh, how about Ben?" I'm like, "I don't know what shoes he has, but like, if you want to get him boots, these look nice or something." I I God damn it, Mom. accepted the boots. Mom's fucking up this operation again. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's going to become redundant in the system. She w- <laughs> she <laughs> wouldn't she wouldn't make the cut. She wouldn't meet the skill floor no, to no, make no. it to Radcon Four. To make it to Radcon Four? No, no, no. <laughs> we should make a stretch goal. Help our mom make it to Radcon Four. <laughs> uh, Pay for a chauffeur. <laughs> All right, next one. Um, this is, okay, pancakes. Another Ben Saint. Yikes! Sick. I don't know exactly what that means, but okay. You well, typed. Let's, it. let's hear it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but like the, there were colons in suspicious places that like changed the meaning okay. of the following words. Y- you know how it is. Let's, All right. let's find out. On the count together. of three. One, two, three. Hey, PCP. You won't believe it, but I got myself into another little pickle here. So okay. I was listening to the new PCP episode, ironically, of course, when I heard some <laughs> right. banging coming from the trunk. I opened it up, and it was the girl. And she said, hey, mm, you know, it's really hard to breathe back here, so could you, like, leave the trunk open? And I said, what, do you think I'm stupid or something? So I shoved her back in and closed the trunk, and then shot it a couple times, you know, letting some air. (laughs) Long story short, I just got back from taking a six-feet hole, and I was wondering, you know, if I should go to the funeral because I just met her. And I don't think I'm socially obligated to go. And it'd be total cringe if I met her parents right now. But her sister does look pretty cute from what I can tell from her phone. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, and before I forget, I did find a wallet has uh, yeah has Yang twenty twenty on it with the Yang scratched down replaced with Bernie. Well, mm. so would you send, know anyone send that this to my could belong PO box. to? Please. Please return that, kind sir. Right, it was a saga. He grabbed a girl. That's right. Thanks, pancakes. Well, for the update. All right. I mean, no, that's it. No that's comment. It. There you go. Well, I mean, he. I guess he wanted advice. Uh, go to the funeral and fuck the sister. Uh, yeah, that's please. yes. It's the only. That's it's the, the chat. Like, do it. Do it on top the of the open casket the body. body. Do it. A guilty man yeah, oh, would okay. never show up to his own victim's funeral, so you'll be in the clear. It's true. Dude, get ready. That's true. This, that's so true. Get ready for a wacky situation where, like, you two, the sister, are, like, making out over the dead body, like, over the casket. And then you're like, oh, no, someone's coming. So you jump inside, grab her, close the casket on top of the two of you, and you get buried alive. And uh, <laughs> wacky, that's, that's and wacky hijinks end. ensue. Pretty wacky. Pretty Yaki wacky, i sax say. plays the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> she, she, uh, she, right. The sister requested <laughs> to be buried with a little mini speaker that played the Yaki sax. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, oh, like uh, like the two of them, like they as the cast is being carried, like they're both like horse style. Both their legs like burst out of the bottom, and they start like running around while, <laughs> as like they're chasing them. And of course, the people when they see this, they're like, "Oh, hey, now cut that!" Out. They shove the legs back in, they put it in the coffin and the in the hole and they bury it. Just, you know, yeah, the happy ending. They're just like, "Yeah, I mean, oh, you're not getting away this time. We've had too many this week." Uh, all right. Anyway, let's go on to our next one. This is the number one Hooligan on Huel version 3.0. We've got a review coming in. Let's hear uh, what the Huel world is like today. On the count of three. One, two, three. All right. Enough um, memory retardation mm. aside. Yeah. Huel 3.0. My current review, after drinking some right now, mm. pretty solid. It's much smoother. I think the taste is also better. It's worth, boys. It's worth. Well, there you go. Until I have a chance to taste it. Well, hang on. That's uh, clearly the voicemail god. If it's solid, then how is he drinking it? Oh, no. Uh, Wait. They have (laughs) have bars. It's it's powder, goddammit. They have bars, too, though. Maybe he got the bars. 
he's he's got to mean like he said like the texture's yes. better. That's got to be mean, like a he's liquid. He's got to mean. He's got to mean. I was doing a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I, I was rolling with the joke, but then Nate took it totally seriously and it ruined everything. I just didn't understand. I apologize. Uh, get out of here, Brad. He clearly stipulated no memes, no jokes, no japes on this voicemail. No, Huel no. version three. I have two seems to be worth it. Bags of Huel three point oh. In, in you do yes. I've not had is, any. Is it good? Though. I haven't had any because I'm on keto and they're not keto at all. Why the fuck did you buy them if you're on keto? Then God damn it! Well, because well, excellent because question. Because literally, literally, like five days after I ordered them, we decided, hey, let's do this whole oh, beach themed right. Radcon four. And I'm like, well, now I have to get hashtag not fat. So I have to go on keto again. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, now's a good time to check in. This will be, I think this will come out at the end of the month. So me, Ben, and Tom made a little wager. Or, well, I mean, we just made oh, an God, agreement right. that we would oh, no. work out. Have you guys no. been on point? I have not. Let's let's hear. No. I'm, no. I'm down, I'm down, R I'm down 12 totally pounds. 12 pounds 12 down pounds. so far. Wait, since New, since New Year's? Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's man. fantastic. That's pretty good. We started a little bit no, before. RFC, that is RFC great. KCON completely threw me off. I did I did lose yeah, the weight yeah. that I gained over the holidays, but I, then I then okay. RFC KCON hit and I and I Okay, well hey, as long I as fucked up. He fucked it all. All right. Well, stay stay strong, brother. Uh I will say that I floundered for the beginning of the month. It oh, is true. How shameful. And so I would I would say I'm I'm probably like about the same weight. I'm I might be up or down like one pound, but I'm I'm roughly equivalent. My goal was just to work out three times a week was my goal. I failed that for the beginning of the month. I am oh. doing better in this latter half of the month. I and my my goal was to set a trend. When the next month comes, let's make I'll make another deal, man. And let's let's do it again. I'm going to Hawaii in like fucking ten days or so though for my little actual vacation with uh, with Michelle and her family. Uh, and I'm gonna be gross and ugly and fat, and everyone's gonna laugh. But <laughs> well hopefully, deserved. I'll like lose it by living to island lifestyle. Maybe God. I, fat I and is no it YouTube nice channel. in Hawaii? What could possibly be worse? January, like um, it's February. nice in Hawaii. I mean, I was there for Christmas last year, and I mean, yes, yes, it's perfect okay. all the time. <laughs> I haven't um, even thought about like getting beach buddy ready for the fucking you gotta thing. Get beach I don't even know ready, what I'm supposed bruh. to do. Um, do, is there like a like guide for skinny right. boys? Aren't you just naturally beach body ready? You're just like I'm, slim. Yeah, I'm, not I look, fat. I'm, I'm slim, but I'm not like I don't know. I'm like a skeleton hey, sometimes. You gotta eat so, okay, lots well, of protein. You'll be fine. There's Pump one some important iron. factor. One important factor when it comes to being beach body ready, and it is it is so overlooked by by gentlemen of our persuasion, and it is being tan. Being uh, tan. You gotta no. have... You uh, don't want to walk out there like you're a fucking comp sci major I'm not rolling gonna out of a fucking <laughs> dorm room. How the fuck am I gonna get you know. a tan before March? I'll tell you how, Gib. You do it the way that I do it. Oh, wait, you're in London. You got, like, clouds yeah. and shit. Um, yeah. Go to a tanning salon, no. baby. That's the solution. Go <laughs> to a tanning salon. I'm, I'm I'm, it's the only way. I'm just gonna be the pale beauty. I'm gonna be the 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 one, you know, from the... The, the beautiful geisha? Yeah. Yeah. Like or like fair. or like the Scottish okay. Highlands person, they got white okay. skin. I'm white. It's I can a, do that. I'm just gonna white, be so allegedly. hashtag not fat by Radcon that no one's gonna even notice oh boy. that I'm a ghost. It's I'll be fine. rocking my it. usual uh, hardcore <laughs> farmer's tan that I have from driving yeah. all the time. That sounds good. That sounds. I, I mean, I will have spent. I mean, like a month prior, I will have spent like ten days in Hawaii. So that tan that I will acquire will probably last at least a little bit into when I get back. So hopefully, I'll be able to coast off that for uh, for that time. All right, let's hear know. about fucking this Brad Garlinghouse fan. Okay. All right. So uh, Brad Garlinghouse's number one fan has apparently called in, uh, and let's hear what he has to say. Uh, all right. On the count of three. Here we go. Oh, what? one. Wait. Two, oh, uh, ne next voicemail. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Number twelve, Brad Garlington House fan, Garling House. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. I hear you loud and clear. But do you give? I'm not hearing a confirmation. He, 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 oh, sorry. I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. On the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, so I've got a question for Brad. So, like, how's Ripple gonna like turn out? Like, is this crypto mm -hmm. gonna be a thing I should worry about or? Like, I don't know much about crypto, man. I'm just, should I use your code? Should I not? Hmm. I don't know about this Ripple stuff, okay? Like, fuck, dog. You started making anime, then you reveal <laughs> your name's dog. actually Brad? Like, what the fuck, Brad? Yeah. 
Well, it was an it was an unorthodox business move on my part. Eat. But let me tell you guys, uh, hashtag Ripple, hashtag XRP, hashtag cryptocurrency. Um, I mean, you're definitely going to want to like sell your soul and, and give me full access to your bank account by clicking the know. link in my currently active stream. Y the only it's way to, to mine Cripple is at night. <laughs> like it, you... There's no way to do it during the day, so like you'd have to right. sell your soul in multiple the ways. The only currency to be mined at night. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like when you evolve an EV at night with max friendship, it turns into an Umbreon. Just when you mine crypto at night, it turns into cripple or ripple. 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 Close enough. I like cripple. Uh, all right, let's do our last voicemail, boys. From the, the man, man himself, himself, me, Brad Garlinghouse, <laughs> is calling in, what an CEO eye. of Ripple. Let's hear what I have to say. On the count of three, one, two, three. Poor little Nate, swinging his pickaxe at the dead of night. You God thought that it. you could mine cryptocurrency while everyone else was asleep. Well, too bad. No. I have assumed direct control. Hacking was easy. All I had to do was swing my silk touch pickaxe at the screen and your channel <laughs> popped off right into my pocket. Now God I will it. reap the rewards of all the <laughs> cryptocurrency your subscribers can provide. This is what you get, Nate. This is what you get for mining at night. <laughs> this is going to lesson. be directly quoted in chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brad Garlinghouse, voice grail. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you know, voice grail. I mean, it's. I don't know. If I we mean, put him in the voice grill, he might steal all those too. <laughs> yeah, we can't. We can't give him access to the voice grill as well. We'll put but he, him everyone but that he earned risk. it though. But this is a this quarantine is him in voice jail. I mean, let him take the souls of the lowly bunch in voice jail. I mean, they're the ones. who If he uh, earns his way into the voice jail and he and he fair and square steals all of them, hacks all their accounts, takes yeah. all Wait, their ad rev, if, I think he if, deserves it. What if we make Brad Garlinghouse the guard of voice jail? So he, he can't can, be he, trusted. He can he can steal all the security footage, so all the people in voice jail can mysteriously kill themselves. Wait, and we oh. have no evidence. <laughs> we, we should we should put him in the voice chain. Oh yeah, the the voice block chain. Like the block chain. It can't, it can't be stolen. Yeah. You know that's that's blockchain technology right there. Uh, yeah, whatever that is, there you go. That's where you are, Brad. Welcome to the team. Uh, thanks for your contribution. All right, that's it. Speakpipe.com, link whatever. Link to the description. Leave us your voicemails. Uh, Shout-outs to Brad for acting fast, because we just saw this, like, this morning. So good, good work He's been planning this for months. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're right. Uh, Go uh, to what else we got? Give uh, and take dot site. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, read the Lord of Ghosts comic and mm -hmm. Bale Jape mm -hmm. and everything else. Bale Jape and Lord of Ghosts are the best ones, though. Radcon 4 <laughs> Kickstarter, bro. Radcon 4 Kickstarter. Help fund the light novel physical release. We have tons of more stretch 4. goals. They're just going to keep going forever. You want that calendar, boys and girls. Come on. Help can, us get the you calendar can up your and pledge at any time. So if you see something new and shiny, you're just like, I got to have that. It's never yep. too late. And uh, mm -hmm. you can always you can always up your pledge. If maybe you pledge. Maybe we should go in. Maybe right. you pledge, maybe you pledge that. that Oh, did you? No, we can. Is That's that what, what I just finished. Yeah, that is what he said. I, you said. No, you said you can pledge it. Fuck, fuck. I said you can up your pledge at okay. any time. Okay, well, don't. You cut out. It's, it's Discord's fault. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay fair enough. Sure. Uh, hey, go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators uh, and prod podcast, that is. Uh, link down below and give us $5 for all the bonus episodes. When you hear this, there should be a new bonus episode waiting. Wait a minute. Our channel is down. Uh, we'll make it available somewhere, Oof. I think, in the meantime. It'll be somewhere, uh, we promise. It'll be somewhere. It'll be somewhere. We can, so we can definitely we'll link it on first. the Patreon. Nothing but the channels. Yeah. Uh, like every, uh, that's right. Only the channels are affected. The Kickstarter, the Patreon, every, all that's fine. Correct. Everything else is fine. Uh, so that's all good. And, uh, oh, of course, uh, $1, you're in the Patreon Discord, but give as much as you like. We appreciate the support. Uh, follow us on Twitter, at TPCrastators. Uh, you will probably want to follow that if you want any updates on this particular saga, because we will surely retweet or tweet from there any updates on channel statuses. So follow that, or I'll primarily be tweeting from mine, you know, at bestest guy ever when I, you know, when I learn more updates. I'm going to, I'm not going to, like, be tweeting every fucking second of every detail, but, like, when there is meaningful things to let people know, I will let them know but you can expect i don't know from the time you hear this probably like a week may could be a reasonable time to expect before anything changes so you know keep your expectations uh in check and uh keep your ear to the ground for more 
Uh, I guess that's it, everybody. And of course, leave more voicemails, give it to the Kickstarter, check out Lord of Ghosts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we will see you next Thanks week. Thanks for coming. Hopefully, save somewhere. us. Save us from Brad. This vi- by the way, house. if we do not have the video up, this again, this will be on another. This might be on Digi's channel. Could be somewhere else. I don't know. We'll try to get the channel back as soon as possible. But obviously, as soon as the PCP is back up, everything will be re-uploaded there, and uh, we will continue as normal. So Woo! here's hoping that happens fast. All right. See you then, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.